Yes. Uh, combat challenge, standard, puzzles, are oh, these puzzle, like, difficulties? How would that change the difficulty? Interface preset default, shows tutorial, sure, James's mask? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, you guys can't see this, but it's, he has a pizza box pyramid head. Look at that. That's funny. In graphics mode. 90s or original? I like the original. I mean the default, but I do see that though. The very dreary droney. What's the different difficulties? Hard, light, hard, standard. I'm gonna do standard, but okay, fair enough. Pizza Head is a must. That's so funny. Maybe on like a replay through. Let me know if the volume is okay once people start talking and stuff. I've been hooked so every cliffhanger keeps me awake. I see, I see. Mm, yeah, that's true, that's true. I just like people like, if anything, when people want to gift me stuff on my, my birthday and stuff like that, I'm just like, just give me like either money or like gift cards to food places. Simple and easy. The detail. To think, today was going to be a hunt day, and instead we got this. Silent Hill again. Well, not again, but... Not hunt again. Instead Silent Hill. Yeah, but people don't like giving money as gifts because they feel it's, like, impersonal, right? Like, as much as I would love for people to just be like, yeah, just give me, like, a 10 or a 20 or something like that, right? People don't want to do that because they want to give something that feels personal. Would you really be in this town? You could have played a Monday? Nope, absolutely not. Felon Hill is my favorite franchise. The moment I have it in my hands, I gotta play it. And since it's, you know, overwhelmingly positive and everybody seems to enjoy it, definitely got to play it. This is the series that cemented my love for horror. I've played every single one of them. In my restless dreams, I see that, see that town. town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. How's the game volume, guys? But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Sounds a bit low. Got you. Oh, it pauses when I alt tab too. Perfect. Actually, let me adjust it. OBS. I mean, Mary doesn't talk that loud, but still. I got a letter. How about now? The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Is she really alive? Waiting for me.
And give me control, right? Yep. Ah, uh, the nostalgia. Let me adjust my sensitivity. That's a little too little. Better. Better. -er. My mouse has a nice nifty button where I can adjust the sensitivity on my mouse with a click, which is pretty nice. How do I? There we go. Map of South Vale. And how do I pull up the map? Quickly. M. I have to go all the way over to M. Fair enough. Uh, graveyard because that's that is where we meet our first character. Silent Hill to hell. Yes, get that money for the game. I have those buttons on my mouse and I love them. So useful for precision. Yeah, absolutely. I sometimes use it a lot on like games too, where I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm like, I'm running snipers now. Um, and maybe I already have presets in the game, but like, you know, to further adjust precision, I'll like click it and it'll adjust it. Game looks gorgeous. I hate the squishy sounds though. My feet, feet on the mud. My feet are so squish. Hmm. All these sounds, man. I wonder if somebody's like, I wonder if there's somebody who's out here playing this game for the first time, never played a Silent Hill. And they're like, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? As these noises are happening. Ah, it's a save thing. Damn. I'm just staring at it like that. Nice day, isn't it? Well's pretty nice. Enjoying the well. A hole in the ground, you know? Wells have water inside of them. It's pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> Imagine I'm just like zoning out. It's like someone's groping around my skull. Mouse has a total of five buttons, including a wheel click. Couldn't imagine gaming without them. A good mouse is a wonderful tool. Absolutely. I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Plus, the, obviously, the uh, left and right click. Excuse me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. That's a lot of buttons. Uh, I mean, I have an MMO mouse that has like 22 buttons, so. Stay away. Okay, maybe not that many. I think it has like 17 or 18 uh, buttons, but feels like it has 22. There's something wrong with it. And it's not just the fog either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. Grow up a skull, we can do that. Absolutely. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll be careful. It's kind of necessary when you I'm play MMOs. Lying. No. To have all those buttons. Just... That's why I bought a MMO mouse for 14. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous. And I should probably use it for uh, Throne of Liberty as well. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I, uh, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too.
Very nice. All the cutscenes are uh, capped at 30 frames per second, by the way. The game immediately goes up to 60 frames per second the moment that I go back into the game, but the cutscenes themselves are um, capped at 30. For inter pretty interesting. I'm assuming this is the right way. Yes, it is. We're gonna get creepy sounds of things in the woods again. This game is gorgeous, man. Adios. So pretty. Sorry, I had to show off my bits. Uh, thank you for showing off your bits, Akuma. Okay. Freaking behind me. You could just hop this fence, homie. Bell and Hill Ranch. Hmm, this gonna look so good. Yay, bits, let's go. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I thought that was something. James, you got this. You got your cardio. Let's go. Hi, hey, country. How you doing? So squishy. My feet are so squish. The ground's so squish. I don't have the key. Oh, it will be in here. Go figure. Anything out here? Hello? Anyone in here? I'll press E to climb through. I thought it would be space. <sighs> mm. Interesting. God, this game. I, I can't get over how pretty this game is. Key. Not gonna give me like a weapon or something? I guess I guess James would have no reason to arm himself right now. Nothing's really happening. You know? Hi Kodo, how you doing? Onward we run. Squishy squish. I think you were slow to get weapons in the original too. Yeah, you don't get them right away. I think you run for the beginning part of it. It has been a very long time since I played uh, Silent Hill 2 specifically. But here we are. Country, we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, no, we're in uh, Silent Hill, what, Maine, I think it is? Scary music, ooh. Also apparently dodging is space, so I can go like any direction. So this, so fun fact about Silent Hill, um, Silent Hill, the location of it is based on, even though it's located in Maine, it's uh, based on actually a town in Pennsylvania, known as Citralia, which is a, a city that has a mine that goes underneath it, and a fire was lit within the mine that actually caused it to perpetually burn, and it caused the ground to crack and then smoke to come up from the ground, and it causes a constant haze around the town. I actually lived like two hours from Citralia. I, I've actually gone to Centralia before. As far into it as I'm legally allowed to go into anyways. Um, because it's technically unsafe to be there. Um, oh, why don't we just go to my right then? We should be encountering, uh, things soon. God, the fog looks so good.
Honey, I'm home. What is this? That's what we call blood. In the industry. Huh. Oh. Heard about the Eternal Burning Mine before, but not all that info. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty interesting place if you go if you get the opportunity to go there. There's only a couple people that live there and their main purpose of living there is just kind of make sure that people aren't doing stupid shit in the town. Um because obviously people can get hurt if you walk on unstable ground or whatever. You might like fall through the ground and into the mine. I don't, know, I don't remember where it wants me to go first. I'm gonna keep running along this road. I do like that he's marking off the map though. Oh, this way apparently. Hello? You need help? Hey, wait. My god, it's more of that weird, mysterious substance on the ground. Oh, the sound effects. Oh, it's so eerie. I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god, what was that noise? I should follow the blood trail. Hello, are you okay? Is everything all right? Are you, are you hurt? Hello? I'm new in town. I'm Venji, and I'm new here. Hello? Hello? What's going on? Why, why, why would you, like, legit though, why would you do this? Ah. That scared me. Oh, I'm staring at the wall again. A nice day. It's a weird creature that came in here. Definitely should follow it in here. Trail of blood. Anyway. <laughs> Every time, and it just makes me think he's just zoning out, staring at whatever the fuck the paper is. Way too funny. It's from lifting logs half my height. Ah, yes. It's something on the other side of this door, by the way. And grabbing wo rough wood. Luckily, no splinters. That's good that you didn't get any splinters. Ooh. Drugs. V to use a health drink. Okay. I love zoning out in dialogue. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that every time. That's gonna be like a nice little fun little fun little gimmick. What is wrong with this radio? Uh, what's going on? I don't I don't actually genuinely even if this wasn't like a weird monster town, what what would it, what would make you wanna investigate this place? Like I wouldn't. That looks loud on my audio thing. Let me let me let me lower that a little bit. Put down a little. Bit. It just that, that looked like that was pretty loud. <laughs> yes, grab the plank. Uh huh. Good. Stay back. You stop that. Stop. Thank you. I saw in the fog. Yes, it's obviously what you saw in the fog. Say that so calmly. Where am I? Why did that close by me? I love any horror game that gives you a fighting chance against monsters. See. The appeal of the original, like, Silent Hill games 
um, was that combat is an option, but you never actually had like a chance per se. Like not a good chance. It was always that the combat was clunky and it was usually not optimal to fight as compared to Resident Evil, which gives you more of an odds to win. And so it was meant to be more of like a anytime that you had to fight or felt like you had to fight, that it was an anxiety inducing thing. One thing I've heard about this game is that since the combat has improved over the years, that tension in combat's kind of dialed back a bit because now you don't have as much of an issue because the controls aren't very archaic, it's not fixed camera, things like that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure they've also redone how they want to portray the horror as well, so it might fill up another way. Oh uh, yeah, so random syringe covered in mysterious fluids. That I will now carry. So it's press to use the health drink and hold use a syringe. Okay. The the the, the transition from the 60 frame gameplay to the 30 frames cutscenes is so clunky looking. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. Like it's not as noticeable during the cutscene, but that like animation of him jumping out the window looked very framey. I don't know if that's a setting I could change, or if it's just kind of that's how it, how it is. These cutscenes are just made in 30 frames. James! Is that my wife? But she's... she's dead. Ah. Very nice. I'm loving the atmosphere. The audio and visuals. It feels very nice. A little bit clunky to break the windows, but it's okay. We'll get through it. Why did you slow down when you approached the door? Yes, it's a very dead person. Matchbook? Uh, Neely's bar. Okay. Press M to check out the new information. Yeah, one second. Um, if you're reading this, this place is not what it seems. Sometimes you just have to look behind. Oh, you fast. Oh, you fast as fuck, boy. Give me one sec. I'll, I'll chase you down the hallway in a second. Damn, I don't know what that thing was, but this table's pretty crazy. No, is this is this made of oak? Why is it out here? What are these envelope things? Anyway, I should probably get going. <laughs> I can't be the only one that has done that zoning out. Conversation gimmick. Because that is just way too free. That is like, that is like dollar free. Where are you? Oh, you're under the car like a little bitch. Fuck you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Anyway. Nope. Nope. Um, not what I meant to do, but nope. Okay. Were you leading me somewhere? No, not here. Cafe Texan. Why do you slow down sometimes? I hate that you just choose to slow down sometimes. Uh... Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, you stuck. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Living. Stop. Okay. 
I think I killed it. Just a hunch. Oh, there's a thing here. Break! Food check, I ate. And did I eat? <clears throat> well, I had a food food, like, maybe, like, six hours ago, and then I had, like, a little, like, uh, leftovers of it, like, uh, two hours ago. Let me, uh, let me pause the game. I don't know if I'm gonna get attacked to do all of this, uh, bombardment. Hydrate, and I'll do stretch. Thank you. <sighs> nice, nice. Is that it? Was that the only point of coming here for the... Thing. I can't go out this way either. Yeah, check mark. I guess I'm done. Okay. Wait, where do I gotta go? So. I need to go to Neely's bar, so I need to go straight and make a left. Okay, fair enough. Straight left here? No. Uh, I would say I don't need to fight this. Oh, fuck. But, um, a little bit of practice, you know? Because this game's going to throw a lot of them at me. And multiple at the same time. Anyway. <laughs> me and any game that gives me the ability to stomp something on the ground. It's like, how many times do we gotta do this, old man? I'm gonna just keep running. Because I assume that there might be more than this one behind me. Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe I would have been fine. Fuck. You might actually be a problem, though. You're fast. What are you... James. Oh, he's got, like, a fucked up pee-pee. He's got, like, a fucked up pee-pee. Really? Nothing's in the cop car? Alright. Ooh, we're losing frames now, hello? Can I, is, this a pa is this a pause? Oh, the bar is like right next to me. Where? Here. I don't know if I'm safe in here. I don't think I am. Will you come in here? I didn't get to read that note, but I think I could pull it up. Alright, the audio stopped, so I guess I'm safe. Um, yeah, read that. I don't know what got into him. He just started smashing the thing. I had to throw him out. He ran off, cried he'd fix everything. I'd gather up what I, I could. Still haven't found out, uh, found one of the buttons. Half the record is still lodged inside, but the other part's missing. Figured he must have taken it. Come to think of it, he did run towards Groovy. Um, anyway, maybe go check on him? Check up on him? See if he's alright? He lives over at Saul, uh, Saul by far the pharmacy, apartment nine. Okay. Ooh, okay. Who puts a jukebox as the only thing in the corner like that? Like that's that would be creepy in a normal situation. Like there's literally no other furniture. Hmm. Okay. I'm at a bar now. Probably have a drink. This is pretty dirty. Do you think there's any clean glasses here? You're even running water. You know what? If I find alcohol, I'm gonna have a drink. Anyway, I should go now. <laughs> that gimmick is gonna get old in like five minutes. <laughs> My PP is far from fucked up. Laughs in 13 inches. You could say they set the bar pretty low. <laughs> Broken vinyl record. Okay. 
Can I go through the back? I cannot. I need a key. Does there happen to be a key here? Oh, I probably get the key from that, probably, I guess. Yeah, probably. I mean, you know what? Just so I don't have to do that cutscene again. Oh, so I'm back at the sink again. I think I saw a cockroach. I don't know. When was the last time I ate? You know, it doesn't matter. So about that drink. But I'm... Yeah. <laughs> A cockroach. Oh, it, it's giving me two locations to go. Uh, wait a minute. I'm directionally challenged. Uh, maybe go to the music place first. You notice me? No, you're good. Let's go to groovy music. Let's go. Let's go up there first. I know the apartments is an important location, so. I think it'd be more advantageous to go to the music place. <clears throat> nice PP. There's still a dude over here I didn't actually kill. It's in the center of the road somewhere. Yeah, he's still there. Hubba, 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 and dodge. It's like clockwork. Hubba, hada, 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 da, da. Stop. Anyway, how far am I from this place? I keep hitting escape to try to close the map. It's right click, but then other menus are escape. Like exiting from the save is an escape. Oh shit, there's two of them. Let's get you first. No, don't run towards the other one. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. I'm gonna fuck you up. Why are you redder? I like redder than the other one. Okay. Uh, I love groovy music. All right, here we go. There's something in here. Oh fuck! There's two in here. Fuck. Please go down. That other one I think is still alive, actually. Okay. 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 We good? We done with this? Holy shit. Two of them at both. You, come here. <laughs> Fight me. The janitor came in the other day, drunken in tears. Had half a record with him. Kept yelling we gotta fix it somehow. I was willing to do it just to shut him up. So I got uh, I got up to get the glue from the cabinet, but then he realized he only had the uh, the one half, so he ran out. Can't do much about the, re can't do much about the record. Maybe ask about uh, ask around Neely's next time you're there. Uh, might be one of theirs. Fair enough. Thank you for the over clarification that the record is right there on the table. Hmm. One thing I say will say about James, I respect that he's so quick to just be like, yeah, fuck property, fuck everything. Uh this place fucking sucks. Okay. Um, combine. Nice. Cool. Alright, go back to Neely's now. Go to the apartment. Garrett! Hello, Garrett. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in, welcome in. Why does my, like... Chat keep going so high above my head. I don't know. I gotta fix that at some point. But hello, welcome in, Raiders. Hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone is having a good time zone. I gotta specifically say time zone with you, Mr. Um, Australian. 
That was the stream. I peeked in a couple times. Where? Here? Yeah, here. I think. Let me. Uh, do we get a shout out? We got a shout out. Nice, nice, nice. Um, hit the middle of the day and it's hot. How hot is it? How many C's you got going on? Um. Do you want me to like? Ah. Ah. I see. I understand. It's like thirty-eight. Okay, that's actually yeah. That's pretty uh. That's pretty bad. <laughs> what 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 season is it for you, Garrett? Is it actually like you know, like summer or something like that over there for you? Or is it just hot? Uh, C, right? Wait. Oh, yeah, I can't do it because I don't have the button, right? Because I would need C2. Right, I can't do it on anything else right now. I believe, unless, unless I can do like the very bottom one. No, I guess I that's I gotta wait until I have um. I have the button because apparently I can't just like click on the thing. Um. It's the one before summer, spring. Ah, okay, okay. So that means it's only gonna get hotter. Hopefully it doesn't hit like 40C for you. Uh, I need a shower, hate to uh, raid and lurk, but lurk also, those are really cute, Akuma. They are really cute. And it's all good, take the time you need. You stream for a long time. You have a good one. Have a nice shower, get all that sweat off of you. Save a spot for me for later, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gonna wash up the stinky. Hey Armorous, how you doing? All right, so now we go to the apartments. Oh, there's something here too. Uh, there was a hole here. It's gone now. What an iconic phrase. So it's just right down the road. Make a right. And then make a left. Wait. Yeah, okay. I got everything from the one place. That's good. I'm gonna ignore you. Wait, is this the right way? It is. And he's right behind me. Ah, oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. He's slow as fuck. Here we are. The apartments. Armorous, when will you armor us? Wait, there's shit in here already? Where? Oh, is it that thing? Is it the bug? It is the bug. Oh no, I can I can move it like a normal person. Right down the road, are you gonna find a hem boss weapons? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, that looks so creepy. I think that's just like an umbrella or something, but it looks kind of creepy just having that silhouette outside the window. For apartment five, okay. Cool. What's this? Uh, apartment five left his key. Says there's a leak from upstairs. Gotta check it out. Am I gonna drop down from above? Okay. That was two. Is five on this floor? That doesn't have a number on it, but it is open. Hello? Housekeeping? Oh, it's the pharmacy. Okay. Get a syringe. Um, I am the boss weapon. Oh, fuck. Where? Oh, is it the guy outside that I didn't kill? 
That's triggering my radio. Four hundred and fifty-one dollars, sixty-seven cents, for a pharmaceutical thing. Wait, do I? Can I not like pick it up? Okay, no, I just can't. okay. I'm not interested in the receipt. Got you. Oh no, this game has bugs. Quick, tell the developer. Absolutely. Opinion on having Paul Rudd play James Sutherland? Inevitably, the Silent Hill 2 movie does come out. That sounds insane, but... I, uh, it's fine, I guess. I don't really care. As long as whoever whoever plays him does him, does him justice, I don't, I don't really care who, who it is. Alright, upstairs we go. And there's more bugs. Fuck you. Something to my left, too. Six. Seven. Eight. And an under thing. Okay. No bugs. It's working as intended. Exactly. Um, I'm certain now. It's coming from that apartment. I keep telling them. Why won't they do anything? It's an, uh, it's unbearable. I can feel it seeping into my skin, pushing itself into my lungs. Hey, homie. A week's worth of Fumi, what a time. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the streak. Everybody's streaking today. Y'all crazy. Thought for sure something would jump me. Oh my god, that apartment got fucked up. Alright, here's five though. Not me, no, you streaked the other day. Hmm, toilet's actually in... Okay, I was gonna say it's in good shape, it's not. I was surprised for a moment that it looked kind of actually usable, but... I mean, you could still pee in it, you know. You don't, you don't have to touch the toilet to pee in it. I'm just excited for when we get to the hospital. We can see some nice, sexy nurses. You know? I mean, uh, this it. I can't wait to be scared in the hospital. Yeah. Is there nothing else in here? Is there really just creepy upstairs noise? All right, fair enough. Your streaking days were put to the end because of cops. Yeah, don't you just hate that? Oh, that's not what I... Th I thought I could maybe drop this, uh... This ladder, but I cannot. Oh, that's actually more horrifying than an actual monster. Case in point. Uh, and then she came and washed it all away. It all started to make sense again. It's this place. I can't fight it. Gotta get my head straight. Quick stop at Texan, then we're going. Fufu hates needles, obviously. I actually don't have an issue with needles, actually, believe it or not. I know a lot of people are afraid of getting shots done. I'm not. Ah. Uh, yeah, stick your hand in the in the wonder wall. You got this, buddy. Stick your hand directly into the orifice. Yep, keep going. Why are you making me physically have to do this? Oh my god, I have to hit every key. <laughs> hey, it's the button to the jukebox. Very nice. Oh, I should have gone and checked the... Oh, that's probably just the entry. Never mind. They came in. Is there a corpse in there? Break it open. Nice roof. This is actually a, this is a pretty nice rooftop area. Like, you know, obviously when it's not a nightmare town, 
But like, nice, nice rooftop area. Oh fuck, I wasn't expecting to go in here. <laughs> I didn't think the door was gonna open. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I got jump scared by the door actually working. That's crazy. That's a, it's a scarier thing than uh, anything else. That was the whole apartment, really? Oh, no, wait. This isn't the only apartment. There's another one. I was afraid of needles at one point. It was an induced fear from excessive blood work. My arms got bruised. That's fair. I think I did get shook up a little bit once because I had a nurse that just was shit at finding my vein. And that kind of, you know, led to a lot of algae. But, um, wait, where do I have to go once I exit this place? Back to the jukebox. So, to the right, down the road, and on the right corner. I could kill a homie here in the street just so that I don't have to deal with him, but, you know. He's right there. Yeah, you know what? How you doing, cheeked up homie? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, that's not cool that you vomited while I was hitting you. Oh shit. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. Right. You don't play, you don't play. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, that... Yep, I'm, I'm rapidly pushing back. Some of these guys take a couple extra hits. Damn. That's crazy. One over there, too. Alright, let's get this, uh... Get this going. Eon, do this, and then go to... Right? Oh, I flicked it off. There we go. Hey, there's another streak, as I said. 60 streak, let's go. The door did its job and you react in fear for shame. Exactly. One of the scariest things so far for me in this game has been a door actually functioning. Uh, in my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised me you'd take me there someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. And we talk at needles, I was getting blood work done, and I was in tears after getting poked six times. Five vials of blood. Yikes. Unlocked. One only Mary. Ah, uh, that's better. Okay, back. Clean now. Good, good. No stinky, no stinky swamp ass Garrett. We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us staring at the water. Who built this contraption, man? It's like just like Resident Evil, man. Like who did this? Did I heal? I feel like I should. I don't want to. But he he looks like he's having a moment. Alright, let's save real quick. Man. I'm sure there's a lot of monsters in this town. This wall has been the only safety for me. This bar is crazy, you know? Nothing really comes in here. The apartment really smelled, though. I wonder what was in that apartment. Anyway, I should keep going. <laughs> Garrett, we all know you are into innocent. Uh, thank you for the stretch. The same people chugging cocaine coke. I'm a nurse, hence why, uh, looking away. Valid. Anything over here? No. Wonder if I gotta push this. Oh, the yellow lined gods. Same, James. I would make that much noise too. 
Ah, good health drink. I'm gonna need it promptly. He came back after you left. It's fine. He didn't try anything. He just seemed sad. Mumbling something about getting out of town with someone. I wasn't gonna let him drive in his condition, so I locked him out. His car should be out back. Maybe check if it's there by morning. It's the greenish blue one, plate number ending with 06, I think. Fortune favors the visitor. Hello, Jax. I mean, you've been here, but still. Anything in here? We got goodies. Got alcohol in the car. Got healing kombucha. Yeah, are you, like, to the left? Oh, no, you're over here. It's a bug. More bugs. Something to gain back here? James? The window. Nothing. Wait. I thought they said the there was a car back here that was their color. I only see this car. Or is there something over there? No, I guess not. Am I done in there? I am. Oh, it's over there. At Gonzalez's. Okay, okay. I misread that situation. I read it, but didn't read it, if you know what I mean. I'm just a serial car breaker, like... It's my favorite hobby, is just breaking into people's vehicles. I don't take the cars or anything, or half the time anything in there, but you know. It's a nice hobby, you know? No, I've been here before, and there's something in the car seat. Oh wait, maybe I haven't been here before, it just was broken into. Keep hitting escape for this menu, man. Go back this way. Break them windows? Hell yeah. It's okay, you're making sure people get into the habit of having spare windows. Expect the Spanish Inquisition. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Wait, that's the car ending in 06. Can't break the back back window though. Oh, but his bloody ass coat's here. No, stop! What are you doing? 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 Picking up a coat, you know, I'm a little cold, you know. I'm off to Eeps now. Alright, I'll come up. Oh, fuck me. Have a good EP. Oh my god, there's a bunch of you. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Run? Jamethy? Sheesh! There's a bunch of you. There's a bunch of you. Where am I going? Old River. Where am I going? I can't see shit. James. James. Is it here? No, it's not here. I don't know if I'm saved. Check a map. We're just gonna keep running. Into the fog. Here. Yes, go in. James, go in. Reach Woodside Apartments. 
I mean, I don't want to be here either, but you know, we're here. We got a map. Multi floored map. And we got a save station. Very nice. Yeah, let's save it up after that endeavor. Yeah, so that was a lot of monsters out there. Glad I have this wall again. I find solace in looking at walls. You know, after Mary died, one thing that I understood is that relationships may not be stable. Your health may not be stable. Do you know what is stable? Walls. Very, very, very good words, James. Very good, very good words. Never been truer. No, I'm gonna raw dog it. Damn. You keep my hill silent. Isn't that a bad thing, Gong? <laughs> I hope I'd, I, I hope I'd, I'd excite your 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 uh, hills. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not good enough to work your hills. Give me what's in here. Ah. Handgun ammo for the handgun ammo that I'll get later. Hmm, creepy hallway or open door. Open door. Handgun ammo. Glad I'm getting handgun ammo before I have handgun. Can't go there yet. Can't go there yet, but there's something behind the door. How you doing, Gong? Where's my Pepe spit emote? You're not supposed to spit, you're supposed to swallow. That's what good gators do. You know what else is... Uh, stable D's moot? Pumpkin was shot by Prinny with a 50 caliber anti-material rifle. Actually, factually. Hello? Why? Is anyone there? Why would you ask? There's probably nothing up here, but it's always good to check. You know, could be a health item or ammo or a rocket launcher. You know, the standard things to be on upper floors of buildings. Let me, uh... Hmm. I was adjusting my camera. <laughs> we'll go back down here. Wow, that's not horrific at all. I'm excited for this. Hello? Ah, finally. Ah, oh my god. Oh my god, it's a horror game. Ah. I didn't know I was playing a horror game. Oh, she fucking hit me. Wild. Okay. Why would you toggle the flashlight? Do they look familiar? Uh, shoot courtyard key. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Empty. Gonna shower BRB, hugs and kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you so much, Gong. Oh my god. VTuber boyfriend. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My straight VTuber boyfriend. Can't go in there yet. Brittany's a necromancer? Yeah, of course she is. You think I'd employ a, a shrine maiden that doesn't know necromancy? Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess now that we got that key, we can come in here and look at this wall again. Damn. At first there was these creatures that just kind of crawl around and vomit at me. But now there's these things with sets of four legs. That's crazy. Where the fuck am I? This wall's pretty nice, though. I'll talk to you later, wall. My totally heterosexual leave room for Jesus VTuber boyfriend. Exactly. Yeah, gong's, gong's straight as fuck, but you know, we're dating, you know? Garbage shoot out of order, please do not use until problem is resolved. Uh, just hit it with your fucking club. Okay. Fuck. Oh, it's in that room, I think. Oh, that's a long one. Uh, Loki and sibling murder. Perpetrator commits suicide in custody. Am I safe right now? Uh, Walter Sullivan, the culprit in a recent homicide case, was found dead, having taken his life on the morning of the 22nd in his jail cell. According to the police statement, Sullivan's death was caused by bloodlust resulting from severing his carotid artery with a soup spoon buried two inches in his neck. Sullivan was apprehended on the 18th of the month on account of brutally uh, murdering Billy and Miriam Locaine. Uh, even though Walter Sullivan did not strike a for, uh, did not strike a former schoolmate from his hometown of uh, Pleasant River as someone capable of murdering children, uh, the schoolmate admitted, I am like constantly just like, is this thing walking closer to me? Uh, schoolmate admits to having witnessed Sullivan in a state of severe paranoia shortly before his arrest. He was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, uh, but it wasn't me, he recounts. Uh... I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy, the schoolmate concludes. That's a name that should be familiar if you've played other Silent Hill games. Are you literally right here? Fuck. Okay. Sure. I'm better than expected, got off a three hour call with a couple of my closest friends. Had a blast. Very nice. Very nice. Pause. A soup spoon? Yes. This game is dark? Uh, yeah. Quite dark. Uh, I mean, even darker when you start taking into account the metaphors of the game. Like a boss will encounter in the later bits of the game, which has to do with fun topics. Um, also, James is... You're gonna fucking come out of that There's no way in hell you're not in that closet. Oh, it's bugs. There's that was all that was fucking with my radio. Was there nothing else to gain in this this place? It really was just lore and Mr. Sullivan. Darker than dark, yeah, but not dark than darker. Housekeeping. Oh, you little fucking bitch. Ooh! Come here. I'm gonna rough you up. I'm in a rough floor play. Let's go. Anyway. Nothing in here. More handgun ammo? So wait, I should check the map. Mm. Okay. Can't go in there.
Nothing else? You cheeky dick waffle! You cheeky dick waffle. Wait, this is where I was. I'm going backwards. I came around that corner like a like I'm Tokyo drifting. Okay, we'll go there in a second. Go to this obvious cutscene here. There's a kid in here. What? That's crazy. No way. He just said what I said. That's funny. Homie, you're not allowed to echo me like that. You can't go in there, actually. Tee hee. Um, that wasn't open before. Let's save real quick. Let's drink some happy juice and stare at a wall. Damn. So now there's kids here too? Or is it a figment of my imagination? Am I potentially drunk? Am I just drinking a lot of alcohol right now? Did I use one of these syringes? Will everything stop if I do that? I don't know, let's keep going. At least it doesn't sound like a 30 year old doing a kid's voice. True, so true. Wait a minute, so there's that. Then there's this. Does it matter which way I go? Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. I saw that. Hello? I've got a piece of wood and I'm not afraid to use it. Hmm. Okay. Golden apple handle. Uh, you're not drinking enough. How how's goes the spooky game? It goes good. It goes good. It goes good. That's too dirty to be dirty too. Uh, replying to you have a piece of wood that's not wood. Un uh, unhand me. If you can comprehend the horrors of your subconscious, then you aren't drinking enough. Valid. Time for more inebriation. What's this? Hallway key for the second floor. If this isn't a room for an ambush, I don't know what is. I don't trust this room. My booty says this room's bad. My booty ain't wrong. My booty thinks this room's bad. Words. For music. 
Hello? One of these rooms has someone in it. It was in this room. But it does have drugs. I'll take that. Huh. Quite the artist. Damn right. Huh. My booty was wrong. Crazy. All right, fair enough. Um, okay. what? There's something in this hallway now. I never would have guessed that would happen. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Cool, anyway. Oh, you guys attack me? That's crazy. It's rude as fuck. Okay. That's so bougie for, like, an apartment of this size to have double French doors like that. That's so bougie for a smaller apartment. Exclamation point booty. Fufu's uh, booty was wrong one time. Damn. Something walking up behind me. Why is it so loud? I guess there's something above or near me, but not actually like right here though. Anyway, uh, please deliver this to Mrs. Millie uh, from 102. I'm really worried about her. She's been cooped up all alone with her belongings for the days on end. She won't even move uh, move them, and God forbid anyone else try to uh, touch the touch anything. It's breaking my heart just thinking about it. Okay, I'll deliver her this nail wood thing this plank that's the that's that's the word i break the tv i didn't think i could i can yeah bitch i can hear your ass you ain't slick i got a radio Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, let's look at this wall again. Damn. I ran out of save slots. I gotta start overwriting other things. That's pretty crazy. I didn't think there would be a max. Huh. I guess we'll save over the road to Silent Hill. That's interesting. I never usually uh, have this problem in games. I guess we're here. Do you think Mary's here? I miss her. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> That's creepy looking. Come here. Come here, gross ass bitch. Oh, you're still alive. James? 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 Okay. We're fine. We're good. Perfectly fine. BRB, take your time.
Love you long time. I guess I got fucked up a lot, because, like, one of those drinks did not, uh, was not enough. I should have syringed. Valentine's Day. I also did not mean to do that without, like, uh, flipping it over. Uh, four. Sippy drink. The fact that the majority of these apartments are safe is so concerning. One oh one. Can't enter that one. I guess I go to the second floor now. Pull out there. Yeah, we'll go upstairs then, I guess. Let me just do this again. I'm not gonna do my disassociating a uh, bit right now. Uh, just say where would be the oldest one again. Cool. I'm gonna take a little sip of my water too. I think my throat's healing a bit. I'm hoping it is because it hasn't been. Incredibly strained today, like it has been the past couple days, but we'll see. I'm still trying to take it a bit easy and uh, watch my voice. Why are you dead? Are you dead? <laughs> Excessive, I know. Mm, yeah, same. Baby carriage outside. Red means scary and oh. Okay. So daddy's here. And it's lagging me as I get closer to daddy. Hey. How you doing? You want to choke me? I really hope you do. Anyway. Oh, this is definitely a I'm going to get attacked in this room kind of room. Like James is still at the ready, so I think... Uh, He knows something I don't. Then again, he just did just see a giant man with a pyramid on his head, so. Interesting. You saying that is nice. I like hearing that a lot. That's wild. Well, maybe on Patreon, you know? I can say more things like that. Can I go through here? I cannot. Okay. Uh, due to ongoing renovation work, tenants are asked to keep out of the third floor of the building. Sincerely, the Woodside Apartments Administration. Yeah, hmm. Ah. Bullets. Nice. And I assume the guns in this room, given all the bullet holes. It is. Very nice. So, hold to aim and press shoot. 
Okay, can I, how do I switch just to melee? Like that, okay. Cool. Um. Do I just go back now? Hmm. Why did you pull the gun out? Oh? This room changed? Grab this key. Uh, 212. They are clearly very dead. Interesting. Yeah, everything changed, so... This apartment's a bit different now. And our and my boyfriend's gone. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Long hallway back, and now I have a gun. Was the. This is 203 here, so I doubt. Yeah, no, I don't need to go this way. Wait. Oh, wait, 250. The keys for two, 212. That's if I go back through this hallway, back to the wall, and then through there. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Now it's a flesh wound. Ooh, that oppressive ambiance in this room. That is such a creepy sound. Uh, here? Here. Hello? One of these apartments, I'm gonna get jumped. There's a nice balcony, no items or anything. Okay. Someone's showering in there, I'll leave them be. Oh, I can't even open the door anyways. Health drink. I don't know where I'm hearing that. Nothing here. A little cockroach things, but I don't know where it went. Oh, hey, lady. Oh my god! Get the fuck off me. The fuck? Holy damage! I was not expecting that. Okay, that was actually a lot more inaccurate than I thought it would be. Okay. She's got some hops. What the fuck? There's a second one, too. It's right here. It's right in this room. Somewhere. No way, there's totally one in here. Uh, humble beginnings. Seven.
Okay. Game knew I was going to fire a shot or two. How is there not something more here? Okay, fair enough. Oh, it's just a... It's a bricked up wall. Oh, you're doing a little... little doing, a little, doing a little crawl? Ow. You're so fast. You're so annoyingly fast. Stop. 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 Thank you. Oh, look at you all the way at the end of the hallway. Come here. Gross. Actually, gross. James? Okay. Not the LA one that, that's bricked up. Hee <laughs> hee. I miss my wife tails. As in your as in tails from Sonic the Hedgehog, your wife tails, you know. Your boy wife. I'm gonna get fucking ambushed in this room. Totally another one. This time I'm gonna be right. Even though my radio is not going. Totally right. Oop, I was right. I was fucking right. I actually startled me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the little <laughs> She does. Same girl, same. I feel the same. Hit him with a little Crazy. Off round three? No? Damn, someone had a massive shit here. Whole entire place shook, bowl broke. They really had to go. Hit him with the tee. Okay, this is where the game wants me to go. Was there anything else in this apartment I might have missed? Guess not. One thing I don't like about the map right now is it's not doing the check off thing, and I wish it was doing that for, um, for here, like it was doing to the other locations. So that's a nice feature I enjoy with um, Resident Evil Two, for instance, when it shows on the map like uh, you're done with the room. Oh, I didn't actually need to go there? Really? Okay. Do I have... Oh, I keep hitting game for that. Do I have... Uh... I don't have any other keys. Hmm... Let's go next door. Oh. Okay, nice. Uh, I guess before I go up, let's go down, because I think this is back to near my save, right? Right this way? No. Well, yes, kind of. But no. Wait, is this an area I've been before? You know what, actually, let's just... I don't know if I need to be down here or up top. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Well, I guess down it is. Never mind. Anything out here? Oh, this is the. This is what I was thinking. Because there's a trash chute. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go this way, we'll save, and then we'll go. Through the lower level. Uh, this way. Everything's still dead in that hallway. Very nice. So we'll save here. Get rotated, Dingus? Absolutely. Got completely turned around there. Alright, we'll go back through this lower area then. This looks so good. Like, remove the jankiness of, like, you know, the textures and of, like, his hair and whatnot that doesn't look really real. And this could be, like, a photo. Which is crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I love it. Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting to go in here. Wait. I've been here. That's just a... That's just an alternate route? Wait. Did I not be down here? Aww. Oh, is that just a shortcut... So that I can get to the save quickly? Is that what it is? You! Bitch. Um... I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be going. That's the room that had the girl that jumped me, I think. Hmm. Maybe it's had lost. Well, like, not that I don't know where I am, but more so I just don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Let me, let me, let me go up here for a second. Hey, look at the streak. Hello, hello. Uh, why, why do the restraint jacket monsters have like uh, like four inch platform boots? Uh, there's a reason for that. Um, let's see. So are the circled things the places that it wants me to go? Hmm. So should I, do I have like a, do I have like a key for, all I have is this, I'm not quite sure what that's for. So I can't go there, and I highly doubt I'm supposed to go through 210 to 212 back over, that seems redundant. Where does the game want me to go? Over here? There was nothing in here, though. Oh, wait, actually. Weird. Okay. Uh, you must think I'm cruel, but this prison is of your own making. The choice was yours. I watched you make it. Over and over and over again. And this time it's not going to be any different. And I'll be here. Watching. Not ominous. Room with a safe. And a lot of scribbles. 
Okay. It makes me want to go over there. Okay. Alright. Any goodies or some ammo? Meds? No. Thank you for the bongos. Because they are serving. We love a serving queen. This is my safety staircase. Um. But once we get to 206. So I can get there from going through 207, but I thought the door through 207 was locked. Like that not not to 207, but to 205. Or did something change? You know, it's still locked. James, that was the wildest swing. I'm, I'm glad you're putting your, 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 like, whole back into it. Um. Yeah, so I can't go through there. I can't go through there. So it's probably going to want me to come through 204. But the way to get into 204 isn't accessible either. Hmm... Okay. Interesting. Shab Shab Shabubi? Fuck Shabubi. All that makes me think of is a Shabubi, Shabubi, Shabubi. The girl who's hard to get. Shabubi, Shabubi, Shabubi. And you can win her yet. I think was the lyrics. It's when my brain is dead from midterms. I see, I see. Brain dead is strong. Same, what to the Shapoopy? Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Um. Where have I not gone? I'm gonna go to Rosewater Park as well. I can't go back out through the entry. Hallway goes over to 102. I already did everything I think in the 100 hallway. There's a question mark with that. So, do I have to go back straight and up there and then go, no, because I can't, I'm not quite sure where it wants me to go. Because I'm wondering if I have to go upstairs to the second floor there, go through 213 into back into the hallway and go to 212 again? I don't know. I have no clue. Why am I suddenly able to use other streamers' emotes in Fumi's chat? You should always be able to use other streamers' uh, things in my chat. Oh, I can't go through there. What well, foiled my my thought process there? Soiled it. So I guess I just have to go upstairs from this area. But then I can't go around, right? Oh, I can go from the... over here, from the main staircase, I guess. Is there anything over here? There's medicine over there. 
Uh, dear madam, in response to your complaint regarding the gunshots coming from an apartment to uh, 217, we have paid a visit to the tenant and he has assured us that he does not own any firearms. He was fully cooperative and granted us access to the apartment. True to his words, we did not find any weapons or trace of using one. Should the noise persist, please inform the janitor. Sincerely, Woodside Apartments Administration. He definitely does have a gun, just saying. I mean, I have it now, so he does not anymore, but... He did. I don't know. -y. Hmm. Was I in here? I don't know. It's also circled over here too. Why is this circled? Oh, because it's a point of interest, but I don't have access yet. You can do it, Hifumi, I believe. Oh, this is just the dress room again. Man, I don't even remember, like, know where I'm supposed to be right now, man. <laughs> Meant to swing on the man on the ground, but, you know. We here. We queer. My son gongers. Oh, here's the thing for that, but I don't have the thing to put in there. Hello, father unit. It will only help with one keyword, but I don't want to be an asshole. With one keyword. F it, we ball. We have access to there. This is, I think, where Pyramid Daddy was standing. Here's the suicide room. Here's where I got jumped by her. Nothing inside the TV. It's okay, you're just practicing that swing for when ambushing leggies try uh try to push up. Uh don't push yourself, Teehee. Was there some- is that a hint? Was I supposed to be somewhere that I could push? Um, that was the room with the... Dang, man. Not my fat back TV. I'll, I'll beat the fuck out of it. Exactly what it was. Dude, I don't even know where I can push something though. That's the issue. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I do know the room with the safe in it, but I don't know how to access the room with the safe in it. Because it's through the wall. Unless there was something to... There was something accessible from that room. Hmm. Didn't look like there was, but... It. it is. Really? Really? It was it was peek through there, go, oh there's a safe in this room and then do this. Really? I just ran around like a mad lad for a while.
Like, what the actual fuck? That's actually insane. This room looks so cool. It also has numbers that are appearing occasionally. Up oh, here we go. Here's the puzzle. Uh, right where the rooftops pierce through the night. Left are homebound footsteps with no owner in sight. Uh, but he has found home. Oh, please pray tell. Or a river of memories leading right to his hell. I see. So we're gonna get three numbers. That's a fucking safe. Wait, it was, uh... Yeah, rooftop spirits this guy left, uh, homebound spirits from hell. So... Okay. I saw the seven here. Seven here with the home. Eleven there. Thirteen there. A cool puzzle. I like this. Oop, what? Oh, that was something. Anything on the roof? We don't want to decorate my house like this. Like, just put some, like... Can you imagine having, like... If you painted your walls and you put, like, an abstract, like, um... Design on everything in, in the, uh... In the house... And then you ended up, um, like, having certain things that if you just use, like, a, a black light or something, that they would appear, like, different designs or something. I would put something horrific, like, absolutely fucking horrific on a wall and just tell people, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, my house has a bunch of, like, hidden little, like, things on the wall and just have, like, normal little messages, like, oh, you know, eat, sleep, you know, love or whatever. Um... And shit like that. And then I would just literally have like one hallway, and then at the very end of the hallway, there's just a giant mural of just like the most horrific looking uh um imagery, so that when you go through my house and you try to look for these things, you just end up stumbling upon that. That would be really nice. That'd be really, really nice. I I, I don't know, I like freaking people out. <laughs> That's my favorite thing in like in like life sometimes just scaring the fuck out of people, I don't know. It's pretty funny to me. Um Okay. So we got look at these again. Eleven, seven, thirteen. I'm assuming it's uh thirteen, seven, eleven, I guess. Uh, this would uh, this would be the sickest interior design the, the key would be is that these lines and stuff like that you could have some of the squiggles and stuff in your actual design right but certain things only appear if you use like a certain light or something I think that's how it would be um what did I say 13 7 no is it the opposite way is it 13 7 13 7 sorry doing bad have you died once till now i have not died now so this is one of the coins for this thing downstairs okay but i need like three i think right Three or four. Try opening locked doors 50 times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm trying to open things. Wait, how the fuck do I get out of this room? Oh, something else in the safe. What the fuck? Why couldn't you pick up both? Oh no, red means scary. I hope we got medicine, I think. 
Nice, I love drugs. And the second floor staircase key. Is this, is this... Oh, it's the apartment that was... Oh, okay, 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 okay. And this is into the welcome home one. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Let me go save. And put the coin in the thingy. Are you running slower than usual? Are you exhausted? No, I think he's just always as slow. My brain is just expecting him to be faster. I love this emote right now. The the transitioning into a devil face. Alright, and then we'll go in here. Put that in there for now. What was it again? Second floor small staircase key. Uh... Is that... Oh, is that the stairs that are right? Okay, does it open this door? Is there actually like something on the second floor that I need to open? My radio is starting just a little bit there. No, okay. I open that from this side. All right, fair enough. We got them drugs? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. Someone did something similar. They painted pentagrams on the ground before covering with carpet or hardwood and the walls with wallpaper. Interesting. Hey! You're not allowed to do that. Stop. Bad. So do you want me to go through... Oh, do you want me to go through 210? Go back around, come out through 212 and open that? Is that what you want me to do? Mm, she didn't get up. That, that right there, this sound that's happening, is like the creepiest fucking thing in this game. The fuck? Is it this? It is, okay. What was with the sl world's slowest animation there? Ooh, a separate save point? That means something's gonna happen here. If you're bothering to give me a save point when there's one like two feet behind me, you're about to hit me with something. You're about to hit me with Pyramid Daddy. And I'm so ready for it. Wait. And one's gonna go upstairs. Is there something downstairs? There's ammo. Is this open? Where is this? Where am I? Ah ha ha! Dope. All right, all right. Very cool, very cool. I fuck with that. I've been in this hallway, right? I haven't. Oh, I hear, I hear a person. I wonder who it is. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. That's crazy. Ugh. One sec. 
You can keep uh, vomiting. Give me one sec. One sec. Got a loot. Hey, who's there? It wasn't me. Access to the it. streets found yo. They yep. Do it, I swear. Is there a day and night cycle? I don't know if I answered hey. that, but no, there's not. Are you okay? I didn't do it. Who do I guess Pyramid Daddy? Well, you've never I seen Silent Hill? How are you being a man back there? A Silent Hill game? Well, post two. I didn't do it. The first game didn't have I Pyramid. Swear I didn't Pyramid. Kill him. Yeah, it's alright. I am not saying that you did. Look, my name is James. James Sunderland. Um Eddie. Eddie. Hi, Eddie. So, uh, do you live here, Eddie? No. I'm not even from this town. It's just... Something brought you here. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I... Well, they came at me. I didn't know what to do, so I ran. I came here. Figured it might be safe, but, but then I found the guy in the fridge. Easy, kid. Deep breaths. <sighs> place it, it's not safe there are these things in this whole town thank you for the stretch there's something wrong with it might be best if you just get thank out you thank you and the bongos thank you yeah you're right hey, you want to come with maybe together we can find a way out of this town oh, sorry but i can't leave not yet i i need to find someone oh careful yeah you too thank you for the pets yeah you keep uh you keep uh expelling the the demons from your stomach all right you want me to go out there was i not supposed to be on the third floor yet All right, let's do some let's do some housekeeping if I can. Okay, I will hydrate in one sec. Oh, you suck! Please, oh my god, I'm wasting so many shots. I like it though, cause he's not—he's not accurate, right? He doesn't know how to use a gun. I like it. I fuck with him. Gotta make sure you ain't stripping unless it's for the numbs later. Fair, fair. Oh, you suck. Oh my god, it's so hard to aim. It's so hard. It's so hard. I love it actually too. Did you just? Is there something in here? There was a coin. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Do a two shot method and then smack him down. And dodge. Oh, you get your fucking ass back here. No, 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 no. You creepy ass, crawly ass, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Step on him. James. Are you just not... Do you not know how to do this on an elevation? You don't know how to do this on an incline, do you? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, anyway. Shooting is horrible, by the way. Holy shit. I gotta really, like, shoot, like, one, two, three, because James is not gonna, not gonna aim it up. Okay. We got that. I don't think there's anything else out here. It's not. This loops me back here. Very good. I'm gonna get through this coin in here. I'm gonna rearrange them later. And then we'll do a nice little save here. And then I'll do that hydrate. Oh, I can move the saves like this with my my keys. 
That's nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so then... Oh, interesting how there's not the key item section when I don't have key items. That's cool, so I don't like go to the section and go, oh, I don't have something to use. I just like always know. Okay. Let me hydrate that. Maybe. Aki. Uh, no worries, Fufu. I know you're slaying monsters, honey. You're doing great with that, by the way. Pop them in the kneecaps. Okay, so now we need to go back to that staircase and go up to the third floor. Bell, hello. How you doing, Bell? Welcome in. Thank you for the sticky. Are the monsters former humans? Um, if so, that is a gruesome transformation on the go. Uh, they are not. Without spoiling too much about the game and the nature of it, uh, the, the things in this game are manifestations of my psyche, I guess is a way to put it, and the sins that I have committed. But what that means, we'll have to find out. It's okay, guys. I saved us. Good, good, good. I'm glad. Hmm. Okay, room I need the key for. Empty ass hallway, but it has ammo. And I sure as hell just wasted a lot of ammo. Where? Oh, you're under... Th That's an interesting position. Ooh, you got up fast. There's a second one, too. There's one right there. Oh, fuck, she did the jump thing. Hate that. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. So rude. James is looking for Mary, right? Yes. He is looking for his dead wife, Mary. And not like dead, like, oh, she's missing, and I, I just assume she's dead at this point. Like, dead as in he's buried her. Kind of dead, you know? So he's a little, you know, he's a little not there, you know? You cheeky bitch. Okay, I should not be trading blows with these things, man. Okay, anyway. Anyways, how was your day? My day was okay. I spent it playing Throne in Liberty with uh, two people. And then I played some Dark Tide with uh, my buddy Mark. And then we're here in Solemn Hill. Uh, I know there's something here. I know I can feel it. It all looks normal, but it's not. It's underneath, pulsating, trying to get out. Uh, is it trying to get out? Should I get in? <laughs> okay. I have to uncover, rip it to the sur rip to surface. Oh god. Oh god. Homie is, homie is experiencing uh, feelings. I knew it. Ow. You are actually annoying. The spitty dudes? Not that bad. Leg ladies? Pretty bad. Just fucking kicking my ass. Estes, buddy. Oh, 
There's a second one. Oh, fuck. I might die. I don't appreciate that moan. I'm just going to say that right now. Sounds like a productive gaming day. Absolutely. I got some. I got my best in slot boots on uh, on uh, Throne and Liberty from a random drop uh, from a random mob in the Shadow Crypt Abyss thing. So I, I can't be mad with that. I was trying to get stuff to specifically farm it, and I ended up just getting it flat out. So pretty nice. I'm somewhere by the lake looking for my missing goose. Goose, Goosefred. Thought I heard something, but I guess not. Dude, I have to drink my last health drink. I'm not doing okay. Woo! That is insane, and it does so much damage. I'm actually, you know. I need to I need to be more patient with fighting, but uh Yeah, I'm like out of meds now, but that's uh that's unfortunate. Um I'm actually happy that the combat is actually challenging. Cause I feel like a lot of these remakes and stuff, they come out and they just like baby proof them. Like I'm on standard too, I'm not even on like the hardest difficulty, so I'm sure everything just like one shots you essentially when you're on uh, the highest difficulty. Um is something is pulsating that shouldn't be that your cue to leave? I mean, you know. Looks like James Underland isn't having the best time. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't actually read that. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. No, I wasn't, but I wasn't entirely right. I need to peel off more, something more blood close. I was looking outside, but it is in me. There's something inside of me. Someone inside of me. Uh, I mean, kinky? Someone's inside of you, I mean. We gaming, no? Oh good, I have a health drink and a syringe now. Is this gonna be what I think it is in here? Oh no, we're back here. Bloody apple. And juice. Throw it down there so we get our drop from it, which is probably the last coin. I'd assume. Okay, okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. So we're gonna go down and get that. Can I open that? No, I can't. Handgun ammo? We fuck with that. James, unlock it, please. Wrong way. Yippee, yippee, yippee. The ambience in this game is really nice. I mean, it's horrible. You know what I mean. Like, it's it's really, nice. it's really good. It's nice. I enjoy it. Very good. I'm gonna take a break in a little bit now. I'm gonna go get that, do the coin puzzle, and then I'm gonna take a quick break. Go get a snack, and replen my water because I have like literally like a single sip more of water left. But we'll do this puzzle quick. Oh, it dropped here. Right? Wait. Am I dumb? Where did the coin go? Oh, it's over here. Coin of the woman. No sexy pyramid head yet. Well, I mean, besides some standing intimidatingly at the end of the hallway. That, that, that was, that was... That was that was that was kind of cool, and I love that like James pulled out the the weapon like he was like oh what's gonna happen here like he actually got like give, it gives you a good like tense moment to kind of be like uh, 
what's going to happen here, you know? Uh, Goose, Goose of Fred sent me a letter, and the only thing I found in it was breadcrumbs and water spots. And I knew I had to come to Silent Hill to find her. Oh, Goose, Goose of Fred's a female. Ah, oh, interesting. A woman. A woman. A wifey. I actually am genuinely curious why you're actually, like, so obsessed with gooses. It's adorable, but, uh, or geese, sorry. Not gooses, but, you know. Yeah, that. It's a beautiful aesthetic. You know, the broken windows, trash buildings, and weird sex weirdly sexy monsters? I mean, they are weirdly sexy monsters. Even the one that technically is really gross and vomits at you has some kind of a lair to it, so it's kind of a, kind of crazy. But anyway, three bright coins in the five holes to be. First sits the maiden underneath the tree. Uh, the wind from be behind the maiden doth blow. A beautiful flower alone has to grow. And here comes the man, so sleek and so fine. In the pale moonlight, his eyes doth shine. They got, they do got them legs. They do got the legs. Geese are the honey badgers of birds. That's, that's the statement, yeah. I think the only one I have to change is this, right? Apparently not. This is the woman, right? Or, or oh wait, did these flip around? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. This needs to be this. Ah, correcto mundo. And then the man doth approach, his blade now revealed. Oh yeah, you don't say. Uh, his face disappears behind shining steel. Away from the man doth the maiden flee, towards the flower, away from the tree. Uh, so I'm assuming he flips over to a blade, right? That's not what I. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, he's a blade. So he moved. He moved forward, and the woman moved towards the flower. Hmm. And then um. Where once grew a flower of venomous glee, uh, where once was a maiden, but a stone doth be. And over her grave the man doth remain, his blade never met the vile serpent's vein. Okay, so the man is... The man is closer. And then she probably inverts to a grave, correct? And then this inverts to a serpent. Oh, this is still going. Uh, the, the beast who its teeth in her flesh doth bore, he who has failed, she who, who is, she who is no more words, holy shit, now unto you falls a grievous chore, who uh, carries blame for what, oh, so now I'm gonna put up there, well, it's a, a serpent, right? Because the serpent was the one that technically killed her, it wasn't the man. Hmm, 201. Nice. Nice suit. Man, this wall's crazy. I love this wall so much. Colored red, like my soul. Um, the 201 was directly up the staircase, right? Oh no, it's not. It's a, uh, take the big staircase and go to the end of the hall. And then, I think we have a nice surprise inside inside there. Let's let's go trigger that and then I'll go get the snacky and the um and the refill on my drink. Wait, I'll tell you about one day fufu. Uh when I can do it in a mysterious way, a bubble wand between my fingers and time to tell the tale. Imagine that but rem uh, remembering and the sake is a bubble wand. Uh of course, of course, of course. Fair enough. Not to mention the wedge heels to go with those slender legs. Absolutely. Hit him with the ooh ooh. The lighting in this game is also really cool. Like, like look how cool that looks. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Am I going to meet my husband again in this room? Am I going to get jumped by legs again in this room?
Mmm, cutscene. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to <laughs> cut it to a cutscene there. Fair enough. Why is it like smoking? Ah, the infamous uh, bonding scene with Pyramid Head, yes. Surprise thighs, right? He clo- by the way, he closed that so loud. Like, the fact that he thinks that he's going to be stealthy with that, he, like, slammed that door shut. Oh, my God. It's Daddy. Daddy? Oh, okay, okay. Daddy's not okay, but it's all right. It's all right. He's just, he's just having a moment. Also, I just noticed I didn't boot up the software for my uh, stream deck. So I couldn't make my sussy face here. I wanted to turn on my sussy face. James, don't. I mean, he knows you're there, but like, don't waste a bullet. Or probably three, because he's going to shoot once, shoot twice, and it's not going to work. And then shoot the third time and go, oh, it didn't work. There we go. I feel like that's the pattern. You shoot once, you shoot twice in the quick succession, and then you shoot the third confused. Yeah, that's, that's about the horror, horror combo there. But he's not going to rip us out of here. Yeah, right? Why are you shooting the giant metal contraption on his head? Like, I know you wouldn't be able to shoot him, like, lethally. But, like, I mean, you could hope that maybe the helmet is, like, super, super rusted, that the bullet ends up still going through or breaking through, but why would you go, why would you not shoot for anywhere that's fleshy? There's a note on the ground. Oh, that's actually a handkerchief. Never mind. Okay. Guys? I guess I follow him through the red door. Yeah, let me allow that message. One sec, one sec. There we go. He's like, nah, I'm gonna go wiggle these bitches around more, yeah, right? <laughs> wiggle? That's, yep, that's exactly what he did. Enter the other world for the first time. Oh, yeah, actually, this is the same exact room, but backwards. And obviously. Absolutely dilapidated. Dude, the, the, the thing about Silent Hill that makes me so happy is, like, truly the transitions of, like, the other world and stuff like that. This, like, rusted, dilapidated situation. Like, because there's, like, three planes of existence, I think, in Silent Hill, if I remember correctly. Because there's, like, the normal world, there's the other world, and then there's, like, the dark world, I think, is the other one. or I forget the name of it. And there's, like, three different variations, and it's, it's really cool. And this one's got Pyramid headed up. So cool. It's so fucking cool. I love Silent Hill so much. Fog world, other world. That is through the fog world, yeah. I'm going to get attacked around this corner. If not now, on my way back. 
Oh, it's a completely new apartment thing. Alright. You know what? Oh, you're a different variation. You exploded something, right? Yep. You made a stinky on the ground. Can't go through there. Uh, nothing there, but this looks breakable. And I'm right, and James is a god. Oh fuck, there's multiple, I think. Give me some ammo, please. Thank you. There's one there, but there's gonna be like one right over the fucking left or something, right? Oh, look at it like... Like working in the kitchen. Yeah, there's something like over here too, I think. But... Stop moving so much. There's still another one, I think. Maybe? How goes the Silent Hill 18? Uh, it's amazing. I say literally only in the beginning of the game, but you know, it's, it's such a good... It's such a good remake so far. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy with it. I need to get better at not getting s fucking smacked like that. I knew there was a second one. I knew there had to be another one. I hate that she dodges me, too. Woo! Oh, she was about to fucking absolutely wreck me. Hmm. 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 Okay, anyway. Uh, that's excessive, but... She hurt me. She made me ouchie. A breakable wall? No, it's not. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's lots of moths under there. And James felt the need to mark his map with that. Okay. Ooh. Safe room. Gotta love our safe room. That means I can go get my drink and my snack. Was that a handstand with no feet? It was legs on both sides. It's like two two legs cut in half, like cut off from your torso and like stuck together. Hello, housekeeping? All right, I'm going to go on the limb and say H is for hours on that on that clock and that door will open once I have a hour thing. Wow, this looks so good. The other world that is a boss arena. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Big door, this is where I fight Pyramid Ed. Absolutely. Ten out of ten IGN. This is where I'm gonna get railed by a giant man with a thing. Now I'm curious if I actually have to fight him or if there's going to be like a um, like a time limit. Like kind of like the opening sequence of Resident Evil 4, how you don't actually have to kill anything. You can instead just like avoid everything. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. This is not cool, though. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like getting losing health when I don't have head health kits, man. That is depressing. That was so cool though. That was so cool. That was so cool. I love it. Just wish I didn't get jumped. These legs really fuck me up, man. My last. Oh no, I still have one more. Okay, okay. That was so fucking cool, but I'm also sad. Because I'm so bad at dealing with them. The vomit ones? Sure. 
Those ones, though, they fuck me up. I need to just go for, like, one hit. I need to just, like, hit them, like, once. And then try to avoid them for the follow-up. Like the bug. Thank you. They fuck me up, too. Are we talking about you playing this game, or are we talking about something else? There's a... It's in this room with me somewhere. Somewhere. Is there no other items in this area? Okay. Wow, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, you're the exploding one. Okay. It's okay, Fufu. Say Marco and I'll say Polo back. I sure hope it does, otherwise it's a rude monster, man. What kind of homie is gonna come into the, the you know this house and vomit at me, you know, without being like Marco Polo? Dude, that <laughs> Okay, imagine a horror game with AI, like actual like AI responses, right? From like the thing that's hunting you. And so if you said something, like you're playing like a, a game and you go Marco, and then the AI would process what's the what's the response to Marco? And then it would go Polo and it's like, oh fuck. That'd be so good. It'd be so so good. Like that'd be a good usage right there of uh of AI. My glankles. I don't trust any of this. An adaptive killer? Yeah, I mean, like, Alien has, Alien, uh, ISO has that, uh, that dual AI thing. That has the AI that always knows where you are. And the AI that's fed information that are hints of where you are. Did one behind me get up? No, was it just that one? Hate these things. Hate these. Fuck those. Fuck the legs. Okay. Wait, what's the... If I can go out there, what's the point of this hole in the wall? Uh, did I just see something? I think I just saw something. Okay, that's something I could push. Yeah, there's something over here. The pyramid head do this. Yeah, I knew you were alive. I don't think you're slick. Something alive in there too. Oh. I'm gonna get pyramid headed at some point, just so you know. Um, mm, mm, fuck them, fuck the legs. I think we're thinking very differently about these legs. You're thinking in a very unsay so way. I am a pure uh, VTuber that um, 
These legs are gonna get up, by the way. All, all of this stuff is gonna get up after I trigger something. Or at least certain ones are gonna get up. I didn't necessarily mean right now with that, but I, I just mean like, I'm gonna do something like get a key or do a puzzle. And it doesn't matter if I smack all these, they're gonna just, the certain ones are gonna get up. It's like horror game 101. That's why it wants me to have all these different openings, so that if I wanted to play like a Resident Evil player, or I mean, I guess, or the old Silent Hills, right? Uh, where you try not to fight things. I have the option to. Oh, that's not correct. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a little pumpkin guy. Uh huh. Fufu is very uh, shoujo heroine, wholesome and demure. Brushes and blushes and all that. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just, uh, just a cute little, cute little, cute little gremlin, you know? Hello. Welcome to my stream. I'm Hifumi. Who will? Who will? Who will? All right, so we're going to need valves. Uh, horror game logic says there's going to be three valves. Rule of threes in horror games, man. Oh my fuck. <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh, it locked me in here, so there's an enemy in here, right? You're not dead. You're going to get up and you're going to fuck me. I'm gonna turn this valve and you're gonna get up. I know you're gonna do it. Oh my god. It also did get up. I wanted to shoot, but apparently James did not want to pull out his gun there. Jeez. Told him to shoot, and he was just like, "What? You want me to continue to hold this wooden plank in one position? That's crazy." Can I take this? No, I can't take that. Where am I? Oh, I'm next to these legs again. So now there's going to be legs that are up again. Oh, fuck yeah, there is. I hate these fucking legs. Oh my god, you actually almost still got me with that. Fuck you. So I need, I need a... I didn't pick up a key, right? Oh, I did pick up a key. Okay, I didn't even actually see that. Ooh. Oh, that's not even fair. I did dodge that, but he sprinted. Oh my god, I'm just gonna swing. Shooting is so hard. Oh right, you explode. Oh, annoying. All right, anyway. Crazy, Hifumi wanting to be fucked by a leg monster, not very wholesome. Whoever said I wanted to be fucked by the leg monster, it's just happening. I didn't mean to click that, but somehow I did. Oh fuck, there's something immediately in my right. Okay. All right. It's gonna be multiple of you again, isn't there? I hate it. I don't want to get ambushed. That's the thing. That's the scariest part. It's not even like 
that the monster themselves is an issue, it's that I don't want to get fucking ambushed. Ah, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have swung there. I knew she was going to do that, too. All right, but that was that was better. That was better. I kind of downloaded her, her patterns a little bit better there. I just got greedy on that hit there, unfortunately. And can you take that, please? Okay, turn this. So I turn this and I take this to the other one, right? Yes, okay. I was so ready to for a confrontation there. And I was like, oh, it's only. But for real though. I really do. I did not mean to vault that. Oh wait, I can go through here. And I can go through here? Oh that's just to that room. Wait. Fuck you can come in here. I didn't know they can come in here. The plank has accompanied you through so many hardships. Why did... Is it just bouncing off of her ass? Oh, fuck. This is exactly what I feared. Behind me. No? Thought I heard something behind me. How many are there? How many? There's one in that room, too. And those legs there are gone. You fuck. Oh, you suck. Okay, you know what? Come on. All right. Crazy. Drink, drink up. Feel good, man. Still another one, though. Heard it. I don't know which one is about to get up, but that's not the right one. Uh. Was it down? I could just check my map. Wait, what about the radio? Oh, that's what it's gonna drop <laughs> from hey, there. Dandy Dick. You missed. Wait, it's in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually really loud. I feel like that'd be a really good, uh... <laughs> that one could be a really good jump scare noise. Maybe not necessarily for me, but... I was kind of just like, ow. Wait, can I... Oh, there's nothing in there. Alright. So I'm done with this area, so now I go... Out here? To go back to the save room? Can I go in here? Oh, that's something blocking me. So there's the hour room. Dude, I hate that that door is just fucking open, man. That's the worst. Can I not have the power to just like close that? I could just brute force for this. I don't need to actually think about that. Oh, nice bongos. Thank you for the bongos. Can't save yet. I mean, before I get away from this save screen, let me eat some more uh, of my chips and shit. 
Hmm. This game's pretty fun so far, though. I was really scared when they announced that they were, like, make, remaking Silent Hill 2. I was actually really scared because not only did they say that they were remaking Silent Hill 2, but, like, I don't believe a lot of the original people are there anymore at the company. And on top of that, um, they, like, announced that there was, like, four or five other Silent Hill projects at the same time. Hmm. So then I just sat there and I was like, there's no way in hell they're going to make a quality product if they're planning on making like five different games. And of course, like, obviously there could be different teams, right? It's not that they have one team that's making all five of the games. That's not uh, how, how games are. People are very ignorant to that when they say things about games and they assume that, you know, everybody is all hands, basically. That's not usually how it is. But like, even then, it's like if your priorities are kind of split like that, I really expect it to be bad. But this has been like, this has been a good one. I don't know if it's as good as like the Resident Evil 2 remake was, like comparatively, like obviously different companies, right? But like, what I'm trying to make a comparison is like the Resident Evil 2 remake was probably as good of a remake as you were gonna get of Res Resident Evil 2 in a like in the modern age. Resident Evil 3 was very disappointing. But then over here on this company's end, I was wholly expecting this to just be an absolute flop. I don't think this beats out how nostalgic and how good it felt to replay like re2 remake but this this one also has like a really good kind of feel to it um we'll see i think the part that i'm most excited for is the um the hospital because that area is iconic as well as a couple boss fights that are in this game like the um oh fuck what the what is the name of it the father one um whatever that one's called the one that's like a bed. That boss is going to be interesting. And then obviously the pyramid head one that's coming up. Which I assume that he's just going to be wildly swinging his big ass sword around. But scraping up all the rusty metal around. But we shall see. Okay, we're going to need a bird. And it looks like we're going to need a bird on one side and then something that is an on, on increments on the other one. That I'll have to pick which where, where that one actually goes. We need a key or a doorknob there. Yo, this apartment's actually kind of nice. What the fuck? It's not fucked up. I mean, it's not in great condition, but it's like, you know, it's not what we've been used to so far. All right, wall it is. Didn't help the devs who made this has a history of bad takes on mental health topics. Um, yes, but what concerned me more so is just all the stuff that was like surrounding Silent Hills and stuff like that. And then they just kind of went radio silent on the production of Silent Hill games for a while. And then they proceeded to release. Like I said, they announced that they were making like five different projects. They were like, oh, yeah, we're going to do Silent Hill 2 remake. We're going to do Silent Hill. Um whatever it was, the silent message or whatever, the one that has like the incredibly woke kind of storyline or whatever. Um, we're going to do Silent Hill F and they, I think they did like a mobile thing and then there's like something else um, in the works too. And I'm just like, that was like so concerning to just see them like be radio silent for like 10 years on Silent Hill and then just be like five projects here, here they come. Um, which is batshit crazy to just say and announce. Um, and then the little demo teaser thing that they released with the, um, I think it, I don't, I don't remember what it was. I think, it, I think it's a silent, silent something. I don't remember what it was called, but that one was kind of mid, but it was also, I think a free game. So like, I guess I can't really complain. Um, but this one's pretty good. I'm very scared for Silent Hill F though, like more so than I was for the remake of this, just because it's a new idea and a new place and a new setting. Which means there's even more to fuck up, because at least they have, like, a skeleton to work with in this game. But, like, them making a brand new Silent Hill game without any type of, like, foundation is going to be very interesting. Because the game's going to take place in Japan, for one. So we don't have the crutch of, like, Silent Hill, per se. Um, you know, it's going to take place in a new setting with new circumstances and a new reason why, you know, the, the, the curse exists, essentially. Um, which is both interesting, but also scary from a like developmental sense sense so i'm like i'm very curious where we're gonna go with this 
but i'm excited for the future because this definitely is enjoyable but um hello verified mess hello welcome in raiders welcome in welcome in sorry i was just ranting about the um about basically how good this game seems to be so far and how this has turned out um despite all the red flags that could have led up to this game being bad but it's it's pretty it's pretty good so far i'm enjoying it welcome in everybody i hope you're having a good time zone i am hifumi i am a variety streamer that enjoys horror and we're playing horror silent hill is one of my favorite franchises on the planet it introduced me to horror um well not introduced me per se but it, it made me like horror because i was definitely very much a horror game too scary i don't want to play but this silent hill franchise was something that gave me engaging gameplay but also the spoops. Hello, Moist. Hello, Star uh, Stark. Hello, friends. We've come from a long adventure filled with Yaoi Cowboys by Miss Southern Belle Ness. Uh, pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you all. Welcome in. And Yaoi, you say, though. Oh, we're sticking our hand in things again. That was that was worse than the hole in the wall. Oh, it's the minute hand. Am I gonna need to get a second hand too? Oh, I'm in the other world now. Nice. That was a solid transition. <laughs> good fucking Thank you. good shit. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Stark, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the community. I see Silent Hill 2 and Sharks. I cannot windmill slam the follow button faster. Hell yeah. Welcome in, welcome in. We also have an, a, a more sharky design on the way, too. I'm working with an artist right now for a uh, more yokai-centered uh, design. You like uh, yokai boys that you say? Yeah, woo-woo. Uh, hate to raid and run, but it's 1 a.m. and I need to sleep. You are perfectly fine. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming in and sharing community with me. I hope you get some good rest. If you guys want to stay here as well and hang out, I'd appreciate it. But if you guys need to also go, please take care of yourselves. Get some food. Get some water. Go to sleep if you need to. I'll appreciate it all the same. Ah! Ooh, bird. Oh, am I in the bird room, but, like, reversed? I am. Oh, hi. That was nice. Break! That was the smoothest gun encounter I've had so far with them. Oh, yeah. I just kind of processed that. That was really cool. We just kind of went in like a a circle, but at other world load. That's so cool. It's so cool. I love that so much. Thank you for the hydrate. And the pet. And the sticky femboy. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're going to need a counterbalance. Uh, Mess and her friend role-playing uh, yeah, was in some uh, indie RPG horror game. It was a fun time. Like, Brokeback Mountain meets The Thing. That... That is a very interesting <laughs> combination. That's a very, very interesting combination. Uh, I guess I can't use the minute hand yet because the wall is out. So until I get back to the... Normal area... Can I break this? Okay. Hello? Thanks. Right, definitely a monster in here, right? Right here? Absolutely. I think it's two. Can't wait till I get bigger guns, but for now. I just want to make sure there's not one like right here. There is one right here. So there's one on the left and one on the right. Cool. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That was crazy. I'm glad I'm glad I was cautious about that cuz that just red ambush. Anytime they do the thing of like having one of them run past in one way, it's always one the other way. 
Um, I too love James on search for singular strands of hair and gum wrappers to make it to the next area. Yes, of course, of course. You had my interest with the cowboys, you know, my attention of the thing meets Brokeback Mountain. I don't know why my brain... <laughs> My brain just read Brokeback Mountain as Bareback Mountain, and I was like, oh, fuck. I'm like, I mean, you're not wrong. But, uh, but also... Not what was said. Ooh, drugs. What? Oh, I thought I saw something getting up next to me. Oh. Freudian slip. Yeah, I mean, I almost actually said it even though I didn't read it. Housekeeping? Can you repeat that? I didn't actually understand whatever you just said to me. I'm going to say right now, though, that was really cool. Hearing that. I sense danger. My cheeks are prepared to get attacked by something in that room. Yeah. Oh, mannequin. Wait. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, I need something out of here. Okay, cool. I'm definitely gonna get attacked on the way back, though. What did I say? That was predictable. This remake is so damn good. It is really good. I'm so happy, especially as someone who's like, this is literally my favorite horror franchise. The only other horror franchise that could potentially compete with this one is, um, it, in my heart anyways, is uh, Fatal Frame, if anyone in chat has played Fatal Frame. That franchise is also amazing. And I think what makes Fatal Frame so good is that it forces you to do really uncomfortable things like being up close and personal with the ghosts. Um, it's going to be like this slot here or something. Yeah. I don't think Mess realizes that she sent me to, to Spook Lover, Shark Fembo, and oh my god, they like Fatal Frame. <laughs> yes, I love Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame 2 and Silent Hill 3 are my all-time favorite horror games. And then I've played every Resident Evil game. Uh, good or bad as they may be here and there, they're pretty good. Resident Evil 2 is definitely my favorite of all of them, though. Even though I think most of my peers would say that their favorites are 4 and or 5. Um. Mm, Easter egg staring spot. Ammo. Drugs. Very nice. Can I use this door? Probably not. Why not? Are we coming up to the pyramid head fight? Where am I? Oh, that's the pyramid head fight. That is the pyramid head fight. But can you give me a save point before uh, I get absolutely railed by a man with a pyramid on his head? Have I been here? No, I've not been here. Okay. Mm. I'm a Silent Hill 2 and Dead Space 2 guy. I think I like Dead Space 1 more, but that might just be because of... um, It was the first, right? And so like I wasn't prepared for the kind of scares that it was going to do. But Dead Space 2 was really clever with its like insanity system. Um, three, three was fun to play with a friend, but it wasn't a good Dead Space game. Um, this is like a dream stream for, sh for Stark right now. <laughs> what are the odds? Uh, I thought you'd say Dead Space. I mean, Dead Space is good too. 
The first Dead Space is my favorite, though. Oh, we're going to meet, meet Laura in here? Yep. I'm trying to look cool. <laughs> oh, it's you. It must be fate. I'm James. Angela. Now, the real question is, have you played um Angela. the Clock Tower franchise? Because that one's also really good. Not really a good game, I'm but also sure I enjoy Siren. It's like a kind of bad good game. Siren Blood Curse. There's always another way. Really? What's the point? Even the PS1 one? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm a horror fanatic. I've run. I watch like my I, I casually just oh, watch like horror movies deserve. like to go to bed. <laughs> like I there it's nice to me. I don't get scared by things really. Startled, sure, but you horror games don't scare me. I enjoy them. We are all the same. I'm not like you. They used to when I was a kid though. Are you afraid? Must be nice. Rainbow, thank you for the gifted to uh, Stark. It's okay. Thank you, thank you. Did you find your mother? <laughs> no. If you want to talk horror more or whatever outside of stream as well, you're welcome to join the community Discord! Exclamation point Discord if you want. I like to do movie nights, and I often try to push horror movies and stuff like that, as well as I like to just talk about it. Oh, exclamation point, all caps Discord actually work too. I didn't know that it wasn't cap sensitive. Today I learned. How did you know that? Well, I just... I just realized Starknado as in Sharknado. Yeah, yeah. How else would I know? Yeah. Yeah. I've actually never watched Sharknado. Sorry. That's a meme I haven't watched, and I also haven't watched um, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, or whatever. Did you find the person that you were looking for? What kind of bot would stupid enough to be cap sensitive? I don't know, man. Things are... <laughs> With how scuffed half the stuff people make is... How... Wouldn't be surprised. Just watch the first one. Okay, I'll do that at some point. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She. You've seen Sharknado Crystal? She died three years ago. Like when the bad movies are bad, when they were trying to be good, not intentionally bad. That's fair. That's like um. She's dead. I mean, there's a lot of series You're that are cheeky like that. Dick waffle. To be fair. It's like what Dead Snow. Dead Snow was a movie that was meant to be good, and then it was Mama. bad, and then they made like a deliberately a bad sequel. This town really is dangerous. Same with uh, back there in the cemetery. uh, no, it's okay. Wreck as well. The first two it's Wreck like, movies were, down. um, what about that? Well, they weren't bad. That's not. That's not. But then they, the second one caused a kind of negative it's reputation. Really? So the third one they made more campy. So, I don't know. No, no, no. I've seen the poo, blood, and honey. I'm I'm sorry, maybe? Also, hi, Dolly. How you doing? Thank you for the pets. Thank you for shouting out, Dolly, as well. I'm sorry. I've been bad. Please don't. I kind of would like to to have like a uh, for this for this remake. I would love to have a DLC where you get to go and run around as her and see how Silent Hill looks for her because Silent Hill is subject Silent Hill the perception of it is subjective to the individual that's present in the town. So like for all we know, everything could look mostly normal to her. And it's why in theory like that little girl that's running around, you could argue that the reason she's not getting absolutely murdered by leg creatures and pyramid head and stuff like that is because she doesn't have she doesn't have any sins or guilt because she's so young to manifest any creatures in the town. 
So it would be very different for Laura and, and what's happening in the town and whatnot. E of resilience. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the mirror. I was like, what's that? Did I break the mirror? No. Okay. Uh, How you doing, Dolly? Hi, Pyro. I think as long as the movie has good kills, I'm fine with watching slop movies. I don't care as much about the kills. I just care that the... My, my usual, like, three criteria to at least enjoy a horror movie is one... I have to feel somewhat connected to the cast, but not to the point that you either force it down my throat or you make them the most insufferable motherfuckers that I do not care about. The second thing I require is that it has a unique and not overdone premise. I think that is probably something else. Like all of the movies that just do this house is haunted or my daughter is possessed by the devil. I'm kind of done with that. Um, and then the third criteria is the cinematography and whatnot and the audio design like the actual like components that comprise it um because so many movies will just have like the most milk toast soundtracks the most cheesy amp ups the most overdone and predictable camera angles but when they do something very interesting with it it's very cool to me and i enjoy that even if the movie is objectively bad that's something that'll make me enjoy it more i'm doing good how are you i'm doing pretty good i'm doing pretty good i'm enjoying my occasional doritos and coke <laughs> People got mad at the way Angela looks. I kept saying Laura. Um, Angela looks, but she looks even more like the original character concept, so I am just find it dumb that people can't get, get mad over it. People will get mad over any change, which I don't really understand, because the whole point of having like a remake or a whole point of having like a sequel or something like that is, you know, giving the opportunity to have some kind of new life in it. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying. It's like people not enjoying Resident Evil 4 remakes, like Ada's voice. I'm like, where I don't necessarily like how Ada sounds in Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, I don't think it fits her that well. I'm also not going to pull up my pitchforks and uh, and torches to burn everybody who decided that that was the way that the direction of the voice could go. And people were like going and sending like death threats and stuff to the voice actress. I'm like, it's not her fault at all. You know, this was a decision made by the people who casted her and the people who decided that that's the direction that she was going to take with the performance. But people are same. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm 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 fine with uh, the minor changes and things like that. I think this game is pretty true to the same energy that the original game had, while being reinvigorating. Like it's it's reinvigorated. Is what I mean to say. Like it's a it's it, it's hitting me with nostalgia while also feeling like something brand new, which is really good. My dog is possessed by the devil. There's actually that actually exists. Um, people are still mad at Assassin's Creed for um, Yasuke, the Black Samurai. Well, that people. I I think that's mostly just people masking racism because like it's it's not like a matter of actually being mad at it, because anybody who genuinely just enjoys Assassin's Creed games aren't going to be hypercritical about it because whether Yasuke, whether he was a samurai or wasn't or whatever the logistics of the situation is doesn't matter assassin's creed is fantasy everything about it is historical parody and it just adjacent to everything so none of it makes sense anyways so if someone wants to take a character that has ties to samurais and stuff like that and make them a prominent character there's nothing wrong with that i think almost anybody who's upset about that game and that main character being like that are just upset that there's a black character in that franchise like, it's just, it's racism. It's anyone who's genuinely upset about that is just... <laughs> like, I can understand being like, it's not historically accurate, but then you have to also be critical of the rest of um, Assassin's Creed that is not also historically accurate. Um, how do you do the thing where every single opinion you have is correct? Are you a wizard or is this an innate talent you were born with? <laughs> what do you mean? um aim your pitchforks at the voice director if you're if you're gonna that's who you should go for yeah definitely but i don't think sending death threats or uh overextending and doing stuff like that is is the proper way to do it express criticism don't be don't be a dick <laughs> that's the best way i can word about it it's very good to express your opinions and express your criticisms because people will learn from that whether you're right or wrong but being a dick is just going to reinforce people in their beliefs because they're just gonna they're gonna uh, they're gonna push back harder than they were before 
because now you're you're approaching them with violence and adversity. Uh, and the game isn't even out yet. Exactly. Like I haven't been happy with Assassin's Creed, but that's just because I haven't been happy with Assassin's Creed. I don't feel like it's Assassin's Creed anymore. I think the franchise has taken a different direction, which I don't think is bad. I don't think the gameplay of like recent games like Valhalla and stuff is bad. I just don't think it's Assassin's Creed. I think they could have named it something else and it would hold up stronger. You mean my completely made up lore history game is an accurate history? Yeah. Like who would do that? I'm gonna get f absolutely fucked by a giant man in a second. I just want you to know that. Also, can I have a save? Oh, thank God. Is that a save? No, that's not a save. Can I have a save? Oh, fuck. Can I have a save? I've been yapping a lot and I don't know what's going on anymore. Where am I? What game am I playing? Is this Resident Evil? Uh, the Flam, Thunder. Why, why is this here? Hello? Outkeeping? Around the corner. Around the- yep. Oh, I was stuck in the animation. Get off me, get off me. I knew you were there, but I still got messed up by you. Forever together in 208. Six. Okay. Um. Me when? I think the last Assassin's Creed I played was when they first added the multiplayer. Uh, Brotherhood? Yeah, Brotherhood was a... Uh, I played Brotherhood. That one was amazing. I loved the PvP. I loved playing as the courtesan. And slitting people's throats with my blade fans. It was such a fun time. And that was the last one that I actually cared to play. I think I tried a little bit of like Black Flag and uh There was one that took place, I think, in China, and it was like a side scroller. I tried that one too. Uh which way is the save run? This way. Um But I haven't really played them much. It's done. Yeah, Brotherhood was great. I was a poisoner in the PvP. What, what weapon was the poisoner? Because I used the courtesan and then I used the like barber dude. Because I liked I liked the idea of like killing people with like a razor blade. But I like the courtesan the most. I, I love that I could just brute force this. Like, I could sit here and be like, oh, look, at, let's figure out this puzzle, but I could just do that. That being said, I do not recall. Game was saved. I don't believe you. Save it again, because I'm scared. Cool. Um, Where was the Minotaur? Door with an M on it is back behind me. Okay. Are more of these guys going to be up now? Two oh two. Ooh, this smells like a puzzle. It also smells like moths. Lots and lots of moths. Oh, I can already tell you what this is. Okay. All right, give me one sec. I want to. I want. I want to drink something. Uh, just a vial of poison. You sneak up without being noticed, and they drop dead after a bit. You didn't have any like. I don't remember this character actually. Um. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember that one because I remember I remember the barber. 
I remember the courtesan with the, with the fan blades. I think there might have been someone who actually does use a hidden blade, maybe. I think there was like a hatchet or something. I don't remember all of them. That was a, that was a good game. That was a, that was a good game. I played the doctor mostly. I remember there being a doctor. I don't remember what their weapon was. But that was that was a really fun, fun game mode. Um. Okay, so I need to count the moons, the circles, then skulls. Okay. Do there. There. Uh, one, two. One, one, two. Yeah, okay. I go through here, too. A really big syringe? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Why do you have a vault here for me? Are you going to do something to me? Are you going to attack me? Uh, two, one. Can I look back through this hole? No, the interact's all on the other side. Okay, also, why is there just a room full of moths? Like, live moths? Why is this a thing? Okay, I need to stop ADHDing while I have these numbers in my head. Go, 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 go. Um, it's two. No, wait a minute. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. Is it? There we go. My brain, my brain did not brain the first time. ADHD powers activate. I was about to be in, in Jupiter. Oh, goody, a hole I get to stick my hand in. I love that. I love sticking my hole in my my hole in hands. My hand in holes. Holy shit. My hole in hand. Why do you make me have to click this? Why do you make this an interactable portion of your game? The second hand. Oh, I get to go boss fight now. Am I about to walk through this door and get absolutely yoinked? I hate everything about this right now, by the way. Um, I'm back here, right? Oh. That's lovely. Oh, and this changed. That's also lovely. I love this. I I am so happy that you are doing this right now, Pyramid Head. Now you see here, uh why this is a Holland land. You put this hand in the hole and catfish come out. Oh, Oh, you don't say. I'm gonna brute force this again. It's right there. Watch. Nope. Oh, no. Never mind. Nope. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, it's gonna be six, right? Oh no, it's not. Eight. Three. All I remember is one of them said down from it, so I was like, oh, it's gonna be down from one of these. That puzzle. I don't know why that's even a puzzle when I get to fuck with it like that. Pyramid Daddy. Yeah, I'm about to get. Up. See, the thing is, the thing is right now, I don't know if I'm going to need to actually fight him or if I could just run around for a while. Like, I don't want to waste all my ammo. Because I think it was timed in, uh, in the original game, I think. I don't think you actually had to beat him, per se, because you couldn't actually beat him. 
I am convinced that I'm gonna get jump scared at some point soon. By Pyramid Head. Like it's not it's not gonna be like a consensual moment of like, I'm walking into this boss fight. It's gonna be I'm getting absolutely wrecked right now, full force. Alright, the second room is not on this floor. It's on the first floor. How do I get to the first floor? The staircase is right around the corner. Okay. Reap always there. Oh, these are the spots from the photos, right? But what does it what does it do? Is it like an Easter egg system? Why did the door sound like that? Where am I? Pyramid Daddy, Pyramid Daddy with his long, hard sword. Absolutely. Why are you so hot? Like you're you, you I, I, Oh god, you're actually faster. Do I actually have to fight you? I don't I don't uh, can I just avoid him? I feel like this is a timed fight. I feel like I don't have to waste ammo. I'm gonna try to just avoid him and see what happens. If it goes on way too long, then I might be wrong. Are you speeding up? Oh buddy, I'm gonna DVD loop you. I got the DVD loops. I have like 2,000 hours in Dead by Daylight. You can't beat me. I've looped you IRL. You're not even using your judgment ability. Did you just two-step me? Chat, is this timed? Can I do this without shooting this man? DBD Loops is my favorite Star Wars character. Oh yes, great character. Oh. Surely this is timed, right? Also, isn't the first time you fight Pyramid Head in 2 in a much smaller room? Like, don't you fight him in like a very small square room? It's timed. This fight is timed. I was right. I was fucking right, but he's faster now. He's so much faster now. Oh, and more aggressive. Is that your sexual frustration, buddy? Oh, fuck me. I'm sorry for taunting your sexual frustration. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh my god, he's gonna grab me. Silver, hello, welcome in Raiders. I am actively having a man with a giant knife coming at me. I'm trying to see if I could beat him with time. Rather than beating him with actual fighting. Nope. Ow. Okay. James, please be timed. Please be timed. Welcome in, Raiders. I hope everyone is having a good time zone. I am Ifumi. I am being chased by the sexiest murderer in the world. Oh. oh he's going to grab me again. It was timed. I was right. Let's fucking go. Get fucked. Didn't have to waste a bullet. Oh my god. 
I was not sure that I was right. <laughs> but welcome in, everybody. I am Hifumi Sawa. I am a variety streamer who enjoys horror games way too much. We're playing Silent Hill 2 Remake. And it's fucking fun. <laughs> it's so fun. I hope you are having an amazing time zone. If anybody who came in needs to rest, needs to eat, needs to take care of themselves in any way, please do so. But if you want to stay for the cozy horrors, we're here. We're here for this. I'm here for this. And I love this. And I love the air siren. So good. You sound like one of those. I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> Look at that sweaty back. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just I just whipped out my DVD PhD. Uh, I'm going to get grabbed through the store. Oh, I thought for sure he was still going to just be here <laughs> and yoink me. Let's go. I want to know if anyone else figured out that that was timed. Like if any, cause like, I feel like a majority of people probably unloaded and it probably doesn't actually progress that any faster. It's probably like you just run out of ammo and people are like trading blows and stuff like that. And then eventually it still ends at the same time, probably. And I'd assume there's an item in here. There is. Very nice. Is there an item in here? I can break that, but I can't do anything with that. Welcome in, Silver. I hope you had a good stream. I was doing my Halloween stream, too, with Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is such a good game. That is such a good game. Very challenging game. What a good game. Come for the cozy horror. Stay for the shark, femboy. Yes, absolutely. Okay, there's nothing here. Nothing back here. Cool. Well, we're done with that area. So next we're going to the park. Which I assume means that we're going to meet another character at said park. We'll have to wait and see if that's the case. Hello. Oh, it's child. Silver is a very good friend. Hell yeah. Now that you mention it, kind of cozy too. What's cozy? Hollow Knight? Hey. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. Hmm. Maybe I did. Yeah, Hollow Knight's What's definitely pretty cozy. Like doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Hey. That's not very nice. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? What you got there? None of your business. It's like a difficult cozy, yeah. Hey. What? Hey, wait! How Why does this... Name? <laughs> I was about to say, how do you know my wife's name? You beat me to it. Thanks, James. I was trying to be your inner voice there, but you actually had a line for that. We got to find out exactly why this kid knows um Mary's name. I don't know if you heard that chat, but there was a whisper in my ear there. Creepy. Any items on these benches here? Yes, whatever that was, a syringe. Nice. Um, I'm assuming not through here. <laughs> yeah. I think Hollow Knight is deceptively cozy. Like, it leads you in with cute buggy boys and smacks your pee-pee with bosses. That's true. I know a lot of people who played Hollow Knight not really looking into it, and they just saw, like, the art style. And um, they just went, like, um, oh, it's a cute platformer. I can't wait to play it. And the next thing you know, they're like selling their entire soul to uh, trying to beat the game. Uh, Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty and for all of our tomorrows. Memory will live on. 
It's something with bugs. I honestly don't know what's going on. I know there's lore. Visually pleasing. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's some good lore with uh, Hollow Knight. This is so pretty. It actually makes me miss living up in the north and seeing like really foggy days like this. There's something so pretty and so calming about it. Like just going on walks and stuff through fog. Such a cool, cool uh, atmosphere. But here we should be meeting another character. Like your girlfriend. No, my wait, wife. I can't believe it. Your face, your voice, you could be. My her. name is Maria. You don't say. I don't look like a ghost, do I? <laughs> I almost named the stream that. One. Sorry, I got confused. That was almost the line I chose for the hey. title. <laughs> I don't look like a ghost, do Where I? Are you going? I need to find Mary. Didn't you say she died? Oh. Yeah. Th three years ago. It's it's just... I got a letter from her. A letter? I know how it sounds. I'm, I'm not... I don't... Hey. It's okay. So, what did the letter say? I'm gonna eat chips while this cutscene's going. I'm gonna mute my she mic. Said she was waiting for me in our special place. And that's here. Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? <laughs> I appreciate it, Silver. You have a good night. Rest well. It's definitely na it is definitely late. I am definitely a graveyard a graveyard shift streamer. <laughs> it was something. I just I can't quite. Hey. I think I might know. I mean, there's this one place. Not far from here. What kind of place? The kind two lovers might call special. I can show you if you want. Unless you have somewhere else to be. Something else to do. <laughs> Easy there. I'm just messing with you. Come on. <laughs> That's not Leon, That's nice right? You're coming with me? I mean, this was like the aesthetic of like a whole entire like... <laughs> Generation of horror protagonists. Just gonna leave me here? Uh, that I jacket know. and that hairstyle. With all these monsters around? No, I, I just. Is it because I remind you of her? You loved her, didn't you? Alan Wake. This game, Leon. Didn't you? Alright, just Um, I think Alone in the Dark too. Come on. So it's okay. Yeah. I like it. I, I, I imagine they're going to do some cheeky stuff where they have, like, at some point, you can see, like, Maria's original outfit, probably. 
whether it's that she puts it on or that you find it somewhere or something like that. I got an achievement called Uncanny. Meet Maria. You run if I run? Yeah, you do. Cool. I guess jog. Through here. Yep. Keep up. This place we're going to, what is it exactly? It used to be kind of a special place for young couples in these parts. I think it's easier if I just show you. Who is that? Just a woman. Victim of persecution by Kid blank. No real fault uh, Jenny Carroll lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. What do you mean? And history, yeah. DMC levels of ill who'd wear this ugly thing. Yeah, right? Exactly. I can only assume they're gonna do that. There. We can go through the motel. You want me to go through a motel with you? Where's this going? Have you ever stayed in a place like this? The walls are so thin you can hear everything. Love, hate, everything. Are you are you trying to come on to me right now? Is everything all right? Hey, you okay? It's like you froze for a second. I like that. Yeah, I, uh, it's fine. I like that, that she acknowledged that I, I just saved there and my character just zoinks out. Good, li good little cute little detail there. I like that. I like when I like when characters acknowledge you doing weird shit. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want to climb through the window? Wait, is she wearing a skirt? Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Valid, you're wearing a skirt. I get it, I get it. Oh, is she at, like, a dress? Or, like, a... Obviously, pants. I'd be like, come on. Climb the window. They acknowledge the fourth wall. Yeah, because you're just, I mean, realistically, you're just standing there zoinking out. Um, also, I had a heated argument with a coworker again in the DMC. About the DMC game, I thought it was a fine game. He says it's trash. What do y'all think? About, like, the quote-unquote reboot, the game specifically called DMC. That one. Uh, like in Persona, where you enter the Violet, uh, Velvet Room for the first time and your allies usually wonder what you're doing since they don't go with you or see what you see exactly um i don't think the dmc remake was necessarily like a bad game but i don't think it was a good game for the franchise i think it shouldn't have happened if that makes sense like i don't necessarily think it was like a bad game but it wasn't what the rest of the games were and i feel like it was just a really weird kind of offshoot it felt very it felt even more arcadey than the actual franchise already feels uh, one, three, eight, zero, one less, one more, three less, one more. Oh. So, like, zero, four, five. I was about to just put that note away and not realize that that was about to be something. Why do I need that information, though? I called it. I fucking called it. That's wild. <laughs> um, sure. I Smash. fucking knew it. Uh huh. 
And we put that shit away. So predictable. That's so crazy. Alright, so where where oh I didn't expect the door to open. Oh my god, you just jump scared me, woman. Holy shit. It was in my face. Cozy. This room. There's something wrong with it. I I think we should leave. Oh she reacts to my flashlight. Look at her. Running around with those That's another cool detail. I'm not so sure. That's cool. So cool, so cool, so cool. Yeah, I think it's um I think this outfit is I think I enjoy it more. It feels a lot... First off, it feels more modernized, right? First off. Uh, and secondly, I, I think it gives off kind of exactly what the kind of projection that James's psyche would have. You know, it, it's very... She looks very young. She looks very, like, you know... Like, she'd be somebody who's, like, promiscuous and stuff like that. And this is this is, this is Mary, but... His fantasy, right? At, at, at the peak and, and, you know, sexual energy and all that kind of stuff. When she was at her best instead of you know dying from her disease so i feel like this is like a good modern take on what that imagery would look like i suppose i don't know i, I don't know how to better word that but that's uh, that's how i think i think it's good it's playful why are you like up my ass you're just like <laughs> just literally just like walking directly behind me uh can i go in here no She reacts a lot to things, and I enjoy that. Uh, where do you want me to do the code? In here? Wait, there's a door open. I'm here being a barbarian trying to get in here. And the door is open. Uh, what was it? Zero, four, or five, one? Gaming. That would have been a good jump scare if I wasn't celebrating, uh... My, 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 my puzzle solving there. If anyone needs anything, I'm fixing the pipes at 107. Yeah. So am I. Did I just get a key for that room? Wait, what was the key for? A key found in the safe in Jackson, the gate key. Let me save. Hey, got games on your map? Oh, is it not like here, here? I gotta go somewhere else, okay. Fair enough, where's the gate? Wait, James, it's the wrong way. Thanks for the commentary. You saved me time. Am I going the wrong way still? Not getting through here. Yes, I am. No reason to. It's the wrong way anyway. Wait. Not there either. Is it back through here?
A gates key? Are you the key master? I'm the pumpkin key. I don't know why I read y'all's messages like that. What do you want me to do? You want me to go, ah, oh, window, and then smash it? Like, I don't know what you want from me. You see me approach a window, and I'm holding a freaking thing in my hand. I'm probably going to smack it. Oh, wait, I'm going to need to get in there, too. Garage check. Wait, so is the place I need to go actually... Back in the property. Oh, or is it I have to go through 107 to get there? Is that what it is? Nothing safe with you around, huh? Can you not be condescending? Thank you. Just use the stick you can pump the lift. Yeah, right? My Omni stick. My multi tool stick. Wait, where's 107? I don't know. I don't know where 107 is, but here's the gate. Where to now? Just down this way. This way? Are we gonna get attacked by lake things? Straight. Yes, you're not gonna give me any insight. Oh, it's not here. James. Three years. That's a long time. What will you tell her if, when they find her? That I love her. Oh, then. Lucky her. What's that supposed to mean? The situation is afoot. Like I said, three years is a long time. So is my feet while I'm walking. Destroy 50 windows. Strange. This should not be here. They like the number 50. It is. Attempt to open 50 locked doors. So. And then 50 now? this. Now we look for another one. What do you what do you think is gonna happen there? James. Is he gonna have to seal it with his stick? Yeah, he just he just even in the cutscene he spawned that into existence. It literally appeared in his hand. Oh, I'm upgrading from the from a stick to a pipe. Convenient. Now the real question is, does this pipe deal extra damage? Because it's a pipe. I guess we're following this thing? Maria, are you with me? Yeah, okay. Maria, can you be, like, useful? And do literally anything? Like, literally anything? Um, oh, this, 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 obvious thing. James? Oh my god. I can't even see what's happening.
James, push this, please. And drink some alcohol. My god. Let me help. Thank you, thank you. Like, be like Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite, where she can throw ammo or health to you, maybe find money. Yeah, exactly. Like, she, she ain't gotta, like, you know... Oh, I got hurt a lot. Um, she doesn't have to fight, but just, like, give me something. Support me. Is that a pants monster? It's legs on legs for double the thighs. All the monsters in this game are um, reflections of the protagonist's psyche, guilt, trauma, and uh, despair. But mostly thighs, exactly. You see it. You understand it. Anything fun in here? Oh, medicine, syringe, ammo, no? Uh, ready to kill it? Is that a metaphor? Or am I gonna do some murdering? Um, let me check something real quick. Anything here? Aha, uh -huh, I almost walked past these lockers. Is anyone afraid of mannequins? Mannequins don't bother me, but... I know people are afraid of mannequins. Or at least unnerved by them. You're giving me a lot of ammo and medication right now. We're in a strip club, let's go. Gotta make that rent, hell yeah. Maria? This is about to be my job, because I need to be making that, I need to be paying the bills, you know? About to go work the pole. Look at this icon. place you met don't be silly just have to go through and out the front then again now that we're here is this a remix of this track can't we stay just for a little while catch our breath before we head back out I think it is I don't have time to take a break Mary could be out there, waiting for me. I know. It's just... This place, this whole thing, it's like a nightmare. I just wanted to get away from it, even for a second. I'm sorry. I... No, it's... it's... fine. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to... I have to 
guess this place is getting to me, too. Am I crazy? You know, for thinking she could be here. Yes. Yes, you are. Crazy Absolutely. Desperate's the other. I can think of another. What's that? Hopeful. Well, that's a nicer way of putting it. Here. Absolutely, Jax. Something to take the edge off. <laughs> no? You sure? Fine. Be that way. Here's to... That one hair is just in her eye. Ready when you are. The, the, the... One thing I love about Silent Hill is that it's, it's, it's narrative device and storytelling within these horror games is so interesting and so nice to watch. Always has been. And it continues to be, which is really nice. Regardless if, like, a game is, like, good or not. You know, they, there's such a style to Silent Hill games that I enjoy so much. Especially after playing so many games that are just kind of like... Anytime they try to drive story, you're just kind of like, ugh. But Silent Hill just, you know, has a charm to it. The Fifth River. Lost and Found. Legs. Torso. Mouth. What's this? Save point? Very nice. Alright, let's go, Queen. Are you implying there's something I'm missing? I will now run through here. A sexy nurse outfit. You gonna dance for me, big guy? <laughs> I'd pay to see that. <laughs> Heavens and nights. I thought there was something. One of those Easter egg things on the on the thing, but I guess not. Is I'm wrong? Or is it from here? Guess not. All right, well, let's go, Maria. All right then. Come on. There was a wedding ring in the Lost and Found that's not foreshadowing. Let's go, Maria. My wife, not wife. Okay, it's 
it's not far now. This, oh, wait, wait, let's see if there's something in here. Again. I am protecting you from demons. Can you not? Okay, cool. My wife. My probably soon to be wife. Uh -huh. Wife number two with the same woman. Except this one's in my head. <laughs> Oh, hello? I saw that out of my peripheral and I was just like, oh, hello? I'm like, did I just see something? Crazy, scary, ooh. Stinky. Wait, it's not hospital time, is it? Where do you want me to go? Ooh, ooh stinky. Was it over here? No. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Daddy. Look, we're on the other side of that chasm. Some detour. But hey, at least we're here. It was a nice detour. Where exactly? It wants you to break into another car. Good. They're coming. I wonder if there's like ammo or something on these porches that I could be missing. I'm very curious if they're being cheeky and hiding stuff there. Is it just me or is calling someone daddy just not sexy? Oh, absolutely not. It's funny to meme on and be like, oh my God, daddy or whatever. But like, realistically, if I was about to sleep with somebody and they called me daddy, I'd be like, yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> Instant disarm moment right there. A garden? There's a bit more to it than that. If you say so. I don't think I've been here before. Come on. She's just around the corner. She? Wouldn't be surprised if they did. Wait, what is it in reference to? Daddy's a safe word. Yeah, if you if if we're if we're doing some kinky stuff and you say daddy, it's like all right, that's a we're done. We should... <laughs> we're good. I'm leaving. There's a story told around these parts. Kind of a local legend. Tells of a woman who was cast out. Sentenced to die. Yeah, right. On an island out on the lake. I leave through whatever the nearest the entrance town. is the moment that someone says daddy to me. If that's a door, cool. If it's a window, I mean night, it's a it's an exit. Row across the lake. Oh, fair, yeah. Company. And every night, she would stand there on the shore, holding a lit candle to help him find his way. But this one night, 
a terrible storm broke out. Caught him out in the open, and it blew out the candle. Even in darkness, the man would not give up. He would not turn back. So he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night, kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home, to lead him to shore. <laughs> Not sure how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. Look, She's mommy, a flying shark with no pants. Right? Patron of undying love. Hence I just expect a Mission Impossible exit from you. Absolutely. I'm turning them bed sheets into my extraction plan. And I'm gone. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. So pretty having those flowers be like her Should color. Come here. Hey. It's okay. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still Come on. Yeah, go towards the screaming. Why are you both silent? Why does nobody say anything? I think it came from inside the theater. You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah. You know, after all this, I'm surprised his shirt is still tucked in, right? Just chilling and watching a movie in here while I'm fighting for my life out there. I'm about to give the child a shotgun and say, you know, put some fucking work in. We can figure it out. I love bathrooms. That totally got fucked up. There's something else in here? I thought for sure there'd be like a scare at least in there. More ammo. So, for those of you in the chat, there's a game called Fear, and there's this bathroom segment in the second game where you go into the bathroom at one point, and the moment you go into Last Stall, there's kind of like a jump scare, and there's like a there's a corpse on the seat, and then the moment you turn around towards the door, the main antagonist is just standing in the doorway looking at you, and it was such a good scare, and that's all I could think of going into this place. Uh, here? Yeah, here we go.
Howl's Moving Castle? Oh yeah, absolutely, you know. I was watching Howl's Moving Castle on Silent Hill. Eddie? Oh. Uh, you're, uh... James. We met back at the apartment building. Yeah. I remember. Okay. I see that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Oh. At least you got your appetite back. Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. Well, uh, it's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? The hell is he eating? Uh, uh, ice cream, but it's melted. I'm gonna go look for her. He's eating like strawberry ice cream or something with his bare hands. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Never mind. Okay, to be fair, James did not say anything about you coming with him. You wanted him to come with you. Don't get all moody with me. What the fuck? Who is that girl, anyway? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Uh... Didn't you want to go after her? Sorry. Laura? Um. Okay, I guess I go up there. Swear to me, I'm Batman. I don't know why I said it like that. Ah! Did I scare you, chat? My door was mad loud. This is actually a really big movie, like... Storage? It was so not Batman, it was definitely not. It wasn't trying to be, but it was- it was something. Because I read the swear to me, and that's what I imagined swear to me was. Like the tone it was being said in. I don't see whatever's playing. Why am I so aggressively chasing down this child? You made me almost drop my croissant. Croissant. Okay. I thought maybe there was something cheeky underneath the stairs. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Just let her do whatever. Oh, clearly she's fine. She's been on her own this whole time. Maria? I think my biggest complaint about this game so far, and my really yeah. only complaint, is the transitions from the gameplay to the cutscenes are very like jarring and the frame rate for the cutscenes is locked at 30 fps while the rest of the game is like either uncapped or at 60. so it makes it so that it looks like it's it, it, it's a lot more noticeable of a transition like it's fine if the cutscenes in 30 fps but like it's just it's very noticeable that the game is like stuttering then because of the Change in frame rate being cut in half.
to run this way? You gonna nag me? No? Thank you. I'm gonna do it again. So you know. I know she's silently judging me. This way? Oh, we're going to the hospital now. Okay, okay. It's a uh, hot nurse time. That's right here. James, look. See, like that was jarring. It just like cuts right to the cutscene like that. Uh, there needs to be like a fade in or something like that. It was so abrupt and looked so janky because of it. Oh, we got the hospital time. I'm so excited. Shotgun rounds. The bubblehead nurses, yes. Where did she go? I don't know. Let's look around. Uh, due to repeated due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced from this point forward, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of the shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination and are not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel under any circumstances. In case of any problems, report to the head nurse in examination room three. The director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? Absolutely. Not the paper moving at 20 frames per second. It looks like there's a key in here. No combination. We should look around. It might be written down somewhere. Very, very nice. But with that, with us reaching the hospital, I think that's a good point to cut it off.